30 seconds. I'm the Red Ball Express. I'm loving diesel power straight to you. I'm trucking. 10 seconds, stand by. From the Wolf Radio Studios, it's time for the John Clay Wolf Show, America's largest weekend morning show. 800 800 Radio. Check out the podcast at jcwshow.com or johnclaywolf.com. This is Give me the, van. the John Clay Wolf Show. Did you know Billy Bob Thornton's in town? I heard that, yeah. Ooh, I guess he's, I like uh, him. he's part of the second uh, season of Lawman Bass Reeves, I think. I think it's Landman, a new one. Oh, is he in the new one? Another okay. Taylor okay. Sheridan deal. We have Billy Bob here in the studio this morning. Live. Good morning, Billy Bob. Mm. 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 Howdy. Mm. Well, you sound a little <laughs> under the weather. Mm. 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 Caught the croup. <laughs> Caught the what? I was laying out there with my daddy's shed. Got cold last night. I got the croup a little bit. A lot of people say flu. I say croup. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> When is Sling Blade Part 2 coming out? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I want all y'all out of here. That goes for retards, <laughs> lizards. You had to dump it? Yes. You yes. can't say that at all anymore? No, no. you cannot. No, mm. you cannot. Like it's a bad word? He just dumped me saying, mm. dude, yes. re- reliving Billy Bob Thornton's scene when he threw everybody out of the house in the band. There's a lot of stuff like, in movies we don't say on the radio. Don't you yeah. say nothing about that mongoloid living in shit. Here mm. we go. Mm. 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 You really can't say the word. Correct. Mm-mm. Like it's an FCC fine? No. It's just not appropriate. You're going to Well, know. when did we decide that you decide what's appropriate and I didn't decide what's appropriate? Cuz last time I looked it says the John Clay, Clay Wolf, Wolf Show. Show. Not uh, the J.D. Ryan show. Let me put it this way. On Monday, would you like to get the phone calls? And then it'll be the John Clay Wolf phone call that you'll get from all the program <laughs> directors coast to coast that says, I can't believe you used the R word on radio. Mm. Hey, R word. I said, get out of my house. Mm. That goes for <laughs> suckers and retards. Oh, God. <laughs> so you just did it again. I just dumped it. I just then play to it again, it. and I'm going to yell over it because we're ruining everybody that since they don't get to hear what we're talking about. I will. I, will, <laughs> I can play it. I, I, just, I know you can play it, but I'm going to bleep it with my own mouth. I could, I'll probably try to turn it down real quick. Man, I'd hey, rather. I said, get out of my house. That goes for <laughs> suckers and. <laughs> Very nice. Nice job. That was, yeah. No, that was, yeah. Yeah, Thank you. That was precise. (laughs) What precision. (laughs) Jesus, living in the country has sharpened you up, boy. (laughs) Some low budget (laughs) editing right there. (laughs) That goes for sea suckers and special ed. Cork. Cork soakers. Cork soakers. Do you, you don't happen to have cork soakers handy, do you? I haven't heard. As long as we're just coming off the rails. (laughs) Hey, Gigi, next time we play Jeopardy. Yes, dear. I know, I know that I picked you up at a fried chicken house. But oh. I won. I don't care. There I won. Go. I know you won, but where you... Winning, lo- baby. Winning. Here where, she goes. where you lost was when you smashed all over everybody, and nobody can... T- In radio, it's not like video, where people okay. can see gestures... Yes. And in radio, when people talk over each other that heavily, yes. then it becomes mudged. Actually... Billy Bob Thornton wants to talk to us about that and give us a little advice. He does? Yeah. Okay. Turley, will you play the clip again? Oh, that clip. Okay. Yep. Here's his message for uh, oversteppers. Hey! I said, get out of my house. That goes for c- suckers and re- Boop! <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as we're being weird. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Who moved my screen while I was gone? Screen. Moved your screen. The screen here. Oh. Things get moved. People come up here and do stuff. No one should sit in my no chair. No one should touch my stuff. 
Oh, Lord. Here we go. Hey, uh, DJ uh, Homeschool. Hang on. Video tech. Yeah, he's up. Bryce. Yo, yo. Did you sit in my chair? <laughs> I don't remember sitting in your chair. Well, the, the Tello screen, you know, that's got the collars on it. Mm-hmm. It's about. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I moved it. Uh, okay, I don't think I moved it. I moved it. But I do remember JD I having to do some technical wizardry to because get the phone calls on the Zoom call. I had to answer the phones, answer the phones last, last week. week oh. in Los Angeles. So you decided to grab the whole post system of the mica, the thing that we shipped over here from France, and rearrange it all? I just moved it around. Just took it right over to here where I can see it from where I sit. That's but all. you lowered it. I did not lower it. I did not lower it. Well, during the break, I'd like to get it back to the proper level, sir. I did not lower Because it. if you can't do that, then here's your message. Okay. Hey! I said, get out of my house! Here we uh, go. That goes for suckers <laughs> and rich. God almighty. Next thing will be, no one look at John Clay Wolf directly in the eyes. Do not look at him directly in the <laughs> eyes. Someone lowered this one, too. Maybe I, not. I, didn't touch I think that your one. chair's higher, maybe. <laughs> Such a... What a, a baby. Diva, like. right. <laughs> Who was in my chair? <laughs> you know, I was gone for two weeks, and y'all just take the place over. Someone's been eating my porridge. <laughs> I'm going to have to go around the whole room and pee in every corner of the room. <laughs> Ew. Just to reclaim. Hmm. It's a dirty job. Ew, that's my What's name. That? You think I'm a diva? Have y'all ever listened to Casey Case and Meltdown? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. You want to hear something good? Casey was. So you do off a, mic. You do a Casey I do impersonation. A Casey Kasem. Hi, hi there. I'm Casey Kasem. <laughs> Keep looking up because that's where it all is. And here's the kind of real person yeah, that Casey. JD Ryan is inspired by. Now we're up to our long distance dedication, and this one is about kids and pets and a situation that we can all understand, whether we have kids or pets or neither. It's from a man in Cincinnati, Ohio. And here's what he writes. Dear Casey, this may seem to be a strange dedication request, but I'm quite sincere, and it'll mean a lot if you play it. Recently, there was a death in our family. A little dog named Snuggles. But he was most certainly a part of... Let's come start again. From coming out of the record. Play the record, okay? God damn up tempo record! Please. <laughs> he got uptight pretty quickly. Come out of those up-tempo numbers man it's impossible to make those transitions and then you got to go into somebody dying you know they do this to me all the time i don't know what the hell they do it for but damn it if we can't come out of a slow record i don't understand it is don on the phone okay i want a damn concerted effort to come out of a record that isn't a this is like me talking to bobo during the week i'm deaf dedication <laughs> now make it and i also want to know what happened to the pictures i was supposed to see this week this a god last time I want somebody to use his f***ing brain to not come out of a damn record that is, uh, that, that's up-tempo, and i got to talk about a f***ing dog dying. <laughs> pictures? The pictures is just like when I talk to you. I need the prompts. You need the thumbnail in front of you to trigger your brain so you recite it properly. Thumbnail? You know, it's like a, it's like a cue card. The pictures to him of the dead dog. Like, stimulate his head so he can keep rolling and talk into the dead dog like he's part of the dead dog. Huh. That's what he needs. I understand what he's saying. In the beginning, he per- he pretended to give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> let's, let's talk about this dead dog. Hey, Casey, can you build up the lightning round and take us out? Coming up, it's uh, the lightning round with John Clay Wolf. 800 800 Radio. If you have a car to sell, John will pitch it right here on the radio. Coming up next, it's the John Clay Wolf Radio Show. Don't go away. Hey, it's Gigi from the John Clay Wolf Show. Do you want the most money for your used car? Do you want a hassle-free process? Of course you do. Give me the VIN, we'll beat your written CarMax offer, or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is A-plus rated by the BBB and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com, America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVIN.com. So easy you can do it in your eyes. On the air every Saturday morning.
from New York to Los Angeles to Houston and broadcasting to the rest of the world online at jcwshow.com or johnclaywolf.com. You're listening to The John Clay Wolf Show. Want more of The John Clay Wolf Show? Check out the largest radio show and fastest growing podcast at jcwshow.com. Hang tight. Make sure you're off Bluetooth and radios down. Uh, off Bluetooth and radios down. We'll get to you here just about a minute thirty. One minute.
30 seconds, 30 seconds, stand by. Make sure you're off uh, Bluetooth, the radio's down. There you are. What's cracking? I couldn't hear you. I know we just changed the name of the show to Cork Soakers and Artards for the day. It, that's an interesting choice. <laughs> and if you go to the YouTube stream, you'll see that the show has been renamed that per Dwight Yoakam. But speaking of, this guy in North Virginia wants twenty grand for an 04 vet. Only 64,000 miles. But that's a, that's a C, what, 5, the same one they have from 97? Yeah, but this one's got the heads-up display. <laughs> Jeff, are you there? Uh, I'm here, John. Now, wait, C-97 is the first year of that body style that you're in, right? You are correct, John. Okay. So you want 20000 for a 04 with 60 on it. 64K. Mm. Did they legalize marijuana up there in your part of the country yet? Uh, no, it is not. Well, then you're just all alone doing it on an island, huh? No, I think it's kind of a disgusting habit. to let people do what they want to do, but I think it stinks. I, and, uh, well, no. I, did, I just figured that you were you were pulling tubes. Wow! Because of uh, if you well, if you were thinking for, I mean, you, did you did you are you just like playing with me? Are you just gagging me? Did you call in to hit me for twenty grand just to get me to kick in the shin and cuss? No, no, I hadn't done much research on what it what it's taken, John. What, right. what they're uh, commanding now. Honestly, I don't. I'm I'm too early for me to be joking. Well, here's seventy nine thousand mile one that sold. I look at comps uh, for ninety five hundred last week in a dealer auction. Here's a forty thousand mile one, not sixty. That's um, fifteen grand is what it brought in uh, last week in Pennsylvania. Um, here's a ninety thousand mile one that brought sixty three hundred. You know, yours says sixty. This car's worth twelve grand. Sobering conversation, John. You really pulled me back into reality. So well, that's my you've job. Just also reduced, you've also just reduced my net worth quite a bit, I but I appreciate it. No, Do you have a credit card? It. Because for this kind of counseling, I just charge $75 an hour. And when we round well, up, we you- round up. Pre-K, grab his visa and bill him and tell him thank you. And uh, we and call again if he needs more free advice. It's $75 an hour. Be right back. Selling your car doesn't have to be difficult. This is easy. Do you want the most money for your vehicle? Of course you do. And a hassle-free process? That's GiveMeTheVin.com. GiveMeTheVin is fast, easy, reliable, and pays top dollar for your car. It's that simple. GiveMeTheVin is A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVin.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your eyes. This is the John Clay Wolf Show. Check out the Gimme the Vin Garage YouTube channel, complete with live video stream. Be sure to check him out on his website at jcwshow.com.
spend my life being a color. Never you agree with me when I saw you kicking dirt in my eyes. Jeff, we got 40 seconds before we return, so just hang tight. 40 seconds. Stand by. Why can't we take your truck? I said, we can't take my truck, baby, because I love that truck. She goes, so? And I go, and if you drive it when I fish, because that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to fish. And when I fish, you're going to drive that truck. She goes, what's wrong with that? I said, you have wrecked every vehicle that you've ever driven. But because I love my wife, we took my truck. I'm fishing with my dad. I get a text message from my wife. And it reads, hey, no big deal. Any man that speaks wife already knows what's about to happen. Call me when you're done fishing. Dot, dot, dot. Have fun. Oh, she wrecked my truck. Hey, we're back to the John Clay Wolf Show. Presented by GiveMeTheVin.com. Give the America's largest weekend morning show. 800-800-RADIO. For all things Give Me The Vin, check out JCWShow.com. And now, welcome back. To the John Clay Wolf Show. Jesus Christ, all I wanted to do was talk. I had to listen to all that crap for an hour and a half. I've got a guy on the phone. He wants to talk about the Super Bowl. Way, way, way. Jeff. What's up? Who won the Super Bowl? I told you he was going to win it three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. When did you, uh, when did you, did you believe all the way through? He told me he was going to do it. Um, his off week when we were working out in Kansas City, and he wasn't joking. And so, 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 so how did he, he say had it? To be wrong, huh? How did he say it? And can you do it in a Mahomes impersonation voice? Uh, we're gonna win it. <laughs> Bob, do you have a Kermit the Frog voice? Is it a Kermit the Frog voice? It's kind of a Kermit. I mean, I saw a deal with Mahomes the other day. He was making fun of his own voice. Have y'all not seen? Have you seen that, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it on TV. They're making fun of me real bad. <laughs> anyway, he, Jeff, he, 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 he just said, did you like look you in the eyes and say, hey, boss, I'm serious. I've been thinking about this. I've decided I'm going to win. He said, how, um, he said, all I can tell you is I feel really good about it. Mm -hmm. We're going to win this. We're going to win this blank, blank, blank. Okay. And then he said, uh, you think some people would be shocked about that? <laughs> and I said, "Well, I know, I know two that won't. It'd be me and me and Jake, and it's me and my son." And uh, uh, I said, "I believe you. Let's go do it." Mm -hmm. And that was it. They damn sure did. That was the best game I can remember since Brady came back twenty-seven down in Houston against Atlanta. This was what's the common what's what's the common theme in that game? Uh, quarterback carried it. <laughs> the coach, the coach. Well, that and the coach, Kyle. Kyle Shanahan. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty, 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 pretty. So how long have you been coaching him? Seven years. And how long have you been coaching Baker? Four years. Four years. And how long have you been coaching Quinn Ewers? Four years. And then how long have you been coaching a Aiden McConnell, Aiden O'Connell? 13 years. You started him when he was like 12 or something? Yep. And he never started anywhere. Is that, is that correct? 
the football was bigger than his head. Um, yeah, no, he started. He started his senior year in high school, and he started uh, a year and a half at Purdue after, you know, after starting seventh string as a preferred walk on. And so, Aiden uh, O'Connell, I, I, Aiden O'Connell, the quarterback of the Raiders, walked on at Purdue last string. He didn't start as a junior. He started as a senior in high school, and they had a good year, not a great year. And then he had no offers. So I called the head coach of Purdue and said, I'm going to bring you a kid. He's the next Tom Brady. And, of course, he laughed at me at first. And then I went to his office and saw him the day before I went to the combine. And um, I said, okay, I need you to take him as a preferred walk-on. I'd known Jeff for 10 years, 15 years. And... Um, I said, I'll never bother you again if I'm wrong. So if you take him and put him on the roster, at the end of the year, every year, all you got to do is call me, get him out of here, and I'll make him transfer back to Division One AA school. And and he, him and his family have agreed, just give him a shot. But I think you're going to love the kid. And then I called Jeff every year in January. He said, no, I like him. And then he was seventh string. Then he was fifth string. I'll tell you a great story about uh, this is the problem with all these kids today, thinking they have to have 95 offers. They need all this publicity and all this garbage. He's never. We're talking to Jeff Christensen. He's a quarterback coach, and he's got he's got a little credibility. Go ahead, Jeff. So he's never gone to another quarterback coach ever. He's never considered it ever, even when he was on the bench and not playing and getting beat out by somebody who is now, who knows, working at AT AT&T. So he's never, never, never deviated. Um, The first meeting he went into at Purdue as preferred walk-on, there's rules. Uh, They can only have 110 kids in the meeting. There was 112. The guy was counting. He counted three times. Okay, everybody be still, head count. Three times he counted. He said, okay, I got two guys. We, we can't break the NCAA rule before Coach Brom comes in here. I need two guys to come out in the hallway. Uh, O'Connell uh, and Johnson, get out in the hallway. So his very first meeting, he got thrown out of and had to sit out in the hallway like going to detention. <laughs> and that was, his first day at, that was his first day at Purdue University. And now he's a starting quarterback of the Raiders. And he's never deviated one time. He's probably been with me 775 days. And now he's, 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 uh, he has a chance to do something really remarkable. And Baker was the same way. Baker walked on to Oklahoma. So this whole thing about all this attention and social media and all this stuff, it's about, it's about how hard you work when no one's watching. It's all about the work. And this is where all these quarterback gurus and never played the position and all this other stuff and all this cool stuff and throwing balls on the beach and all this cool stuff it has nothing to do with being a great quarterback. So you got a guy like Mahomes that has won, won several won several Super Bowls. Is it four now? You, no, it's a three. It'll be four. It'll be, it'll be four after next year. And he still they're gonna, they're needs you. Again. Why does he need you? I mean, if I was him, I'd be like, "Shut up, bitch! I don't need you. Look at these rings." Well, the the reality is they know when they're getting better. Yeah. And and I told Pat every day that we work out, if I don't make you two percent better, if you don't feel like you're two percent more accurate when you leave the field than you are when you got to the field, then there's something wrong. And when you feel when you feel that's the case, you gotta let me know because then I gotta change it up because I got I need you to feel. And and the, you know a big piece of this game, right? is the mental aspect of um, belief. And, and But we have a really unique relationship. I mean, I do things with him that I, I do with, with, with certain kids, eighth graders, freshmen. But he understands it. He understands the value in it because he's done exactly the exact drill in games now so many times. And he's seen it on film. He'll be on the airplane. He was on the airplane from San Diego three years ago. He said, did you, did you see the touchdown pass to, to, uh, to, to Travis in the first quarter? That was the drill we did last Thursday. I'm oh, like, like yeah, y'all pra- you practiced that pass. Oh, we, we practiced the exact things they go through. And then when it happens in the game, when it presents itself in the game to them visually and physically, there is no surprise. Right. They, they delivered even that much more confidently because they've already been there mentally. Makes sense. Hey, now that Super Bowl's over, and we – because Nolan, you know, he kept he keeps asking me about you. I said, dude, until Super Bowl's over, Jeff's back in town now. He's in Texas. 
We'll start it when when he's when, when Super Bowl's done because his head's going to be there until it's over. So now that's over, we will. And uh, and what what's the name of yours? You teach kids and you have a company that does what? Throw it deep, right? Is that what's called? Yeah, you the you're, you're the one that has the throw it short. I'm throw it deep. The throw it deep dot com. And also when um, I want you to come back out to the ranch as soon as you can, and I want to sit down with you for an hour, and on camera, and I want to do what we're doing right now. We can't do it on live radio because it's too long and it's not for everybody you know this topic is not broad as i mean super bowl is pretty popular but Mahomes, everybody knows who he is but my point is i, I want to do it i, I want to get in the weeds with you on this stuff and i want to do a real interview and i think it'll be um something that people would love because you've got a lot to yeah. say that is very cool to me and i want to share it with people i've heard these stories before let's do it soon so i um but hey junior is going to on a seven on seven uh He's got a seven on seven game today, and he's got a seven on seven game tomorrow. So we can't make it. Where at? Uh, I don't even know. I'm such a good father. I let his mother handle it. No, it's in there Irving. It's in Irving. It's in Irving. It's yeah, I do know. I don't know exactly where it's at, but it's in Irving. She might be sneaking him out to soccer games. You better keep an eye on. Her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jeff. Thank you for calling in, and congratulations on the big win once again, and uh, the great season you had with your uh, quarterbacks. I mean, you had. Two or three of them in the finals, in the playoffs. Well, ba- Baker was a, a drive away from from beating Detroit, so that was a it was a big big moment for him. He's he's uh, he's going to get a big deal. I'm really proud of him. He's really he's really turned the corner. He's matured and grown, and he's he's really a joy to be around. Now. Great great leadership skills. My name's John Clay Wolf. <clears throat> That's been Jeff Christensen. You can go back later and listen to this on the podcast at jcwshow.com. Jeff, I'll see you soon, and welcome back to Texas. I'm glad, Thanks, you, I'm glad you're a citizen now, not from Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. Don't mess, don't, don't mess with Chicago. I'm just I, telling I, you. I'm glad you quit dating the old mayor of Chicago. I told you she was rough-headed. All right, we'll be right back. Because she was there. Hey, it's Gigi from the John Clay Wolf Show. Do you want the most money for your used car? Do you want a hassle-free process? Of course you do. Give Me the Van will beat your written CarMax offer or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give Me the Van is A-plus rated by the BBB and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVin.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your eyes. The John Clay Wolf Show. It is like a great ballet of violence. Check out all the mayhem online, podcast replay, YouTube channel, Twitch, socials, live stream, all at jcwshow.com. What would happen to you if the government learned that you were giving us this information? The John Clay Wolf Show.
minute, one minute. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds. Stand by. Chiefs won the Super Bowl for those that live in a tree on a mountain <laughs> without a TV. It's a pretty damn good game last time I checked. We just had Jeff Christensen, Patrick Mahomes, quarterback coach, on the air with us. If you missed the interview, go back and uh, grab the podcast this afternoon at jcwshow.com. That's got a great sound to it, man. Cheech Mahomes. <laughs> Cheech. Did I say Cheech Mahomes? You said Cheech won the Super Bowl. You said oh, the Chiefs. Oh, Chiefs. Oh, Chiefs. <laughs> no, but hey, hey, morning, you should Kansas you should City. carry that. You should carry that. Cheech, Cheech Mahomes. Mahomes. Let's go with that. All right. Yeah, Kelsey is his chong. Hey, I was bitching earlier when I first started a moment ago, and I'd like to continue that because it makes me feel good. Oh, good. <laughs> and that's what we're here for. <laughs> you know, Bobo puts together this run sheet every week of topics to hit. Oh, yeah. And there's a handful of topics that I don't like. And I never go to them. Sure. And then you notice that that topic got drug over to the next week's run sheet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's personal. And then. You think it's personal. And then there's also <laughs> an, another topic of the next week's run sheet that I don't like, that I feel is popcorn filler laziness and just something he's copy pasted and just shoved on there. That's not good enough for our show okay. or our listeners because I demand better. And then he'll take you that sure one. do. He'll take that one and he'll drag it over to the next week's run sheet. So you can see the compounding effect here. It winds up that you just have a run sheet full of old crap <laughs> that nobody ever wanted to hear, including me. And I thought today, I don't think that's right. I thought today we could go through some of those. Okay, sure. Do you have a we, we have a list compiled? Well, things that have been on there for three or four weeks. Sure, on there. But there's some that lasted like for months. Yeah, there's a few of them. We had had to drop one off. Something about a, a lizard therapist or something. We oh, thought. that was great. The yeah, the psych gecko. Where's that? That was awesome. Bryce and I. Well, it's not on the run sheet. That's I Bryce and I. Told to drop it. Bryce and I fell in love with that mm -hmm. when it was new, mm -hmm. and we have video and everything. Okay. This guy dresses as a lizard, and he's got a, a YouTube channel, <laughs> and he's not a therapist, but he gives he, he gives relationship advice. He is on our YouTube channel now. Look, there he is. There he is. <laughs> if you go to jcwshow.com and click in, you'll see. So, oh my God, is this real? And he makes a lot of money. GG. I should do that. GG, are you looking at the video right now? It's just I so can't weird. See it. That's really weird. Therapy it's just gecko. so weird. Hey, Bryce. It can, works. Bryce. Uh, pre, uh, DJ Homeschool? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, I, I have a green screen behind me, and I insist oh, immediately that you put that behind me because that is the best thing I've seen in a long time, that 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 uh, that green thing. Anyway, we can do it in a minute. I'm glad you like it, John. That's why it was on the run sheet. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> What's the next one? I okay. curate these things you, really you, carefully. You, you, to, you, no, 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 no. To suggest that I copy and paste the run sheet, I curate this from roughly 7.45 a.m. till around 5 or 6 p.m. Friday. Okay. All in pieces and sticks. And Turley's got requests mm -hmm. that I dig up and do. 
Mr. You've got requests that I dig up and do. JD has requests that I dig up and do. Look at the screen. And that's the run sheet. It's me and the therapy gecko. We're going, dude. Look, <laughs> look, look, it's great. Gecko. I'm there. Go to YouTube. Go to our jcwshow.com and you can click over on the YouTube stream where Jacob just gave $9.99 for the therapy gecko. Is there any audio of therapy gecko? I took it off of here, but I can let me dig it up. Oh, see. Okay. Weeks ago. Yeah. What's the next one? Uh, this has been up there for three just, weeks. Bryce, just leave this up. I'm, ex- I, I'm good with this being up for the rest of the show. A golf club in Fresno, California, busted for allegedly operating illegal cannabis operation. Yeah, yeah. now that's close to the top because that's a great story. Investigators served a probable cause warrant. It says Thursday morning, but this was three weeks ago. Found a thousand dollars worth of illegal <laughs> cannabis and edibles. Here's cut number four, if you have it, Michael. This I invented is- my own kind of grass. Do you know that? This is a hybrid. This is a cross Kentucky bluegrass feather bench and uh, Northern California sensimia. The amazing stuff about this is that you can play 36 holes on it in the afternoon, take it home, and just get stoned in a bejesus belt that <laughs> night on this stuff. <coughs> it's a little harsh. <laughs> it's a little harsh. Okay. I just wanted to hear Carl Spackler talk. Okay. That one's not as good as Therapy Gecko, but I agree that I shouldn't have shunned it. See, I can admit when I'm wrong. Well, you do this without hearing the audio. You do no show prep at all. You show up well, it's called at talent. 06 Bob, it's during called, the first half. No, it's called, called lazy. It's called talent. <laughs> it's called lazy. And like these are all available mm-hmm. Friday afternoon. Oh, if you want to do anything other than ride would, dirt bike. Would you like to hear the fifth? Wow. Here's another one. The, fifth, the uh, psychic right. lizard here. Defense. You asked me a question yesterday, a minute ago about... So he's he's busting my balls because I was riding dirt bikes yesterday. Oh yeah, with the, was Ty Murray out here, dude? Yeah, Is Ty Murray, like the Ty Murray. Is he a country singer? No, How's are that? you serious? He's a PBR legend. PBR legend. PBR like peanut that? butter and jelly. You? What's PBR? PBR? You stop it. I don't know what PBR. Pro is. What is PBR? Professional bull riding. Ah, okay. He won the oh. world championship nine times. Yeah, yeah, only nine times. He's big. Hey, Ty, if you're listening, call in 800-800-7234. John, while you're doing this. Wait, where did he come from? How do you know him? He lives in Stephenville. He started riding KTMs cross-country about four years ago. We have a mutual friend, and they said, you really should meet this guy because you guys uh, like doing this a lot, Yeah. and you're near each other. So he brought his bike over yesterday, and we rode for four hours. And he's pretty damn good. But I mean, imagine that the guy's you know an athlete, bull rider, good at right, something bull rider that moves. He's actually good at something that, and he has a low center of gravity. You know, because he's a shorter fellow, he's all in shape. Right. He said the worst part about yesterday was he was going to have to go home and tell his wife he got his ass mopped up by a paraplegian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, That's, while we're doing this, guy, I can whip him is... on my track, but I think if I'm on his track. Uh, he want you know. I notice he really wants me to go to hit where he rides oh, yeah, a lot. He has one. Yeah, come on, come with me. Come, come where we ride a lot. I'm like, yeah, of course. I like it out here because you're better on your own track. Well, sure, you know what's coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you have a horse that you ride all the time, sure. you know what's coming. Mm-hmm. So, would you like to hear the psychic lizard? Yes. Here we go. Some people talk about deep interpersonal problems with their relationships. And then other people will talk about pooping their pants. I started uh, streaming myself on Reddit as a gecko taking phone calls, and the streams would go onto the front page of Reddit. My expectation is that I would be uh, living here in my mom's basement doing this forever. But uh, it has gone much better than I thought it would. Golly, what's this uh, gecko call? What is that? It's, it's the kind of calls that he gets, man. Okay. So I am a behavioral neuroscientist, and I conditioned myself to get horny when I smell microwavable pot pie. Every time I would make pot pies in the microwave, I would beat my d- smelling the pot pies. And then one time, someone in my family made a pot pie, and I smelled it, and I was instantly horny. I you really are a scientist. Literally, yeah. I've been there. Huh. Pot pies make me horny, too. Oh, it's just crazy. This guy's making boo dollars on this, right. man. You know, that little side hustle that you don't know if it's going to work out, and it does. Look at him. Look at Gigi's face. She's like, he's making money doing what? Gigi could be the new I'm Mitten. still with the pot pies. Miss Cleo. Gigi could be the Miss, new Miss <laughs> Cleo. You've got that voice. Actually, Gigi, with that voice you've got, you could do something stupid like this and make a lot of money. Well, I'm going to have to. Okay. I need to. Okay. Well, let's... um. I'll manage you for 25%, and I'll write you it all it. out and structure it. 
15, okay, make it happen. 15, manager gets 15%. Yeah, but not if you're a producer and a manager. That's right, writer, that's yeah. right. Producer? producer? What are you going to do? I'm going to create the whole profile and the character and help. Yes. I'm going to work on the front side and get all the lines down and then build this thing, and then I'll back off and just collect my money. That's what they do, okay. Gigi. That's like what it. they do. I like it. She's do agreeing. It. Yeah, so what's the that's problem right. here? Yeah, Baba, why are you trying to queer my that's deal? That's right, that's just right. Same. What's the next bad story that Bobo had? YouTube, there I ruined it, guy. has been there for Ooh, a month. Oh, that's the one. He's been there for a month. Uh, here's the latest, a mock-up of what he thinks the red hot chili peppers might sound like to people who don't like the red hot chili peppers. Cut 18. Tickle my bum with a mannequin thumb and a bongo drum in California. Snuffleupagus saved my asparagus supernova toilet clog. Car trapped in none on the 101. Gotta have some fun in California. There's a sunspot on my kumquat. Nancy Reagan bit my dog. Hey, yo. I don't know what I say. And yeah, this, I, I did the right thing by gonging this. Yeah. One. This, this okay. sucks. <laughs> Next. Great. It sounds just like him. It does sound like him. It's totally just... intelli- unintelligible. What's the next Do one? Do Teslas, can they pick up ghosts? Mm. Yeah, see, th- when I read that headline, yes. I'm like, that's never going to make it to the show. It's so stupid. It's just a cons- but can they? Well, they, they have, as you know, they have cameras all the way around them. Well, recently. Oh, I hope Bryce still has the video for this. Uh, a, basically, cameras no, can, like but can they detect ghosts? They detect cars and other things, people. Someone drove a Tesla out to a seminary, cemetery at night and basically put it in park and immediately they saw people around the vehicle but there was no one oh. there cut number 19 it's next to oh man oh god it's next to <laughs> there you go i was waiting for the screamer it's got to be a screamer if bobo does it next bit <laughs> I mean, Bobo loves screaming. You should see the video, man. Like, when you're making love to your women, do you scream a lot? I talk. <laughs> Give me an example. Here we go. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, clean it up and do it. I don't kiss do and it. tell, sir. I'm not asking who. Use your imagination. Well, I mean, you got I, one of those? I can. I do have an imagination. But, like, what kind of talk? Do you talk dirty or do you talk silly or do you talk funny? Or do you just say you're liking that from your Uncle Bobo? Is your big Uncle Bobo in the big chair? There you go. Now, that's the money shot. You imagining what it might sound like. That's all you need. I don't kiss and tell, man. And that's why I get more than you do. So your your old boss, you know, you basically lost your job years ago as a morning DJ because you kept calling yourself, you kept saying, it's Uncle Bobbo coming to you from the big chair? No. And then they were like, please quit saying that. It sounds creepy. That's stupid. And then you, you kept doing it? That's really dumb. Okay. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He's not what, not JD, pardon what? me. It's not what happened. It's not what happened. Okay, it's not what happened. Let me get Lindy on the phone. Yeah. What did happen in Fort Wayne, Indiana, this was, of course, last November. There, uh, the, <laughs> what? Old news by J.D. Ryan. Your they're, idea this 42 one. seconds. They're coming up with a uh, government building, and they're trying to figure out what to name it. So they have a guy who is a local mayor with a strange name, cut number 20. Thousands of people voted online to name the new city-county building in his honor. But that probably won't happen because of his name. The people voted, and the top pick so far with more than 10,000 votes is the Harry Balls Government Center, (laughs) named after one of the city's longest-serving mayors, but not everyone's on board with that name. We want to look at something that reflects both the city and the county. So, you know, we're looking for something that isn't just a mayor, for example. We have a street named after Harry Balls, so what's the big deal about naming the new city-county government building after him? I, I agree. That is your idea. You sent that to me and said, dig this up for the show, Bobo. Oh, Harry Balls. Harry Balls. I like it. <laughs> Harry Johnson, what's your question? <laughs> Harry Peters, I sat next to Harry Peters at Jayhawk Financial. Harry Peters. Harry Peters. Uh, so as you can see, folks, there's nothing wrong with a run sheet. 800-800-7234, 800-800-RADIO. Old news and bad run sheet topics is brought to you exclusively by Gordon Boswell Flowers. And your Uncle Bobbo in the big chair. <laughs> and give me the VIN.com. Give me the VIN.com, America's best car buyer. If give me the VIN does not beat a written CarMax offer, they will send you a check for $100. The market's picking up. Prices are coming up a little bit. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com to check the value on yours if you want to sell it, especially if you have a nice one. Give me the VIN likes paying more for nice cars. Be right back.
One minute, one minute. Hey, Bruce, stay hooked. I'm going to take you in just a second.
Stand by. Legendary baller DJ Pre-K of the John Clay Wolf Show is shooting a brand new music video, and he needs bitches. All right. Do you or anybody you know want to be the hottest video vixen in the world? Now's your chance. We're looking for twerk contest champions, big booty boppers, bust downs, thoughts, skip, scap, scallywags, and straight up freaks. What's up? I'm DJ Pre-K, and I want you to be in my new video. It's going down March 1st, Friday at the W6 Ranch. Submit your pictures, videos, or OnlyFans links now. Right. I don't care if you got one arm, one leg, or half a brain. If you can shake that thing, I want you in the frame. Funky dog-headed bitches need not apply. Go to johnclaywolf.com for more details. And live from the United States, it's Saturday morning! It's the John Clay Wolf Show, starring John Clay Wolf with J.D. Ryan, Michael Turley, and Bobby Brown. And featuring DJ Pre-K, G.G. Drummond, Keith Richards, with the world's biggest son of a bitch and Satan, the Prince of Darkness. And now your host, John Clay Wolf. Dog headed women is not in your video repertoire, pre K? Yeah, no, no, no funky dog-headed ladies, man. Okay, that was great, by the way. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> do you know the song that you're going to do the video of yet? Um, well, I'm trying to get my boy Mr. Aggravated Foe to come down here so that we can do a, a song for Player Made. Smash what dogs at your This one dog. right here. But um, it's it's a lot to get people out here in Meridian, you know. I'm ha- <laughs> You know, some of the fine women I know that I've asked, they're like, you know, I'm not coming all the way out there. You're trying to get me murdered or something. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a little trouble. But if, if it's just me, I got a brand new track that we're going to drop. So, yeah, we got a few options. But you do need biatches? Yeah, yeah, we're looking for biatches. Yeah. The finest. Bruce, Florida, good morning. You're on the air. Yes. Good morning. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Sitting here having a mimosa without the mimo in it. Oh, just orange juice, orange juice. <laughs> no, just just champagne, buddy. Oh, you're just drinking champagne early <laughs> right. in the morning. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's the weather in Florida? Are you in Melbourne? Melbourne. I am. Yeah, the uh, the Space Coast. I'm not far from the Redneck 500 tomorrow. Oh yeah, that is tomorrow. I've never yeah. been. Okay, Bruce has an 05. He wants me to bid. He wants me to bid a car for him. He's got an 05 SSR, the little Chevrolet Roadster thing truck. Um, yeah, it's got the six convertible. Liter, six liters. They're uh, seventy seventy five thousand miles. What color is it? Aqua blur, the best color there is. Okay, for um, these trucks, it's it's uh, shifting paint. You know, it looks green one way, it looks blue the other way, uh-huh. it looks purple a different way. Yep. Depends how the light hits it. I call it white trash <clears throat> blue. It was cool in the nineties. Okay. Mm-hmm. That works too. Yep, yeah. the Mustang and Camaro made one too. Um, so what would you take for it? I was looking to get 30. It's too damn high. 30. You know, I yes, struggle I, I struggle with these rigs. Um I don't do well with them. Yours yeah. has yours has 70,000 miles on it. So I'm looking 75 350. You know, ironically, I just pulled up cars for sale. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking here. And here's the first one is a yellow 04, not a 05, but a 04. And it's not white trash blue; it's white trash yellow, but it's got thirty thousand miles on it, not seventy. And you can buy this today from Cranch Auto Sales for twenty-two grand. Uh, here's the next one. Yeah. Here's a ten thousand mile one that you can buy today from Earth Motor Cars in Carrollton, Texas. Actually, Frank Cortese is a good friend of mine. I just—that's funny. He owns this. 
We can get him on the phone if you want to buy his for twenty seven grand. It's an O four with. I don't t- want another one. It's got ten. <laughs> it's got ten thousand miles on it. Now yours yeah. has seventy thousand miles on it. And I'll ask you again, Bruce, on the record in front of the jury in the court. What will you take for this seventy thousand mile white trash blue SSR? Well, why don't you throw me a number? Fourteen we'll, grand. We'll go from there. Oh no. I'm closer than now. you are. I've, this this has got uh, the chrome wheel package. It's got the bed rug kit in it with the color keyed uh, runner strips in the bed. Do, um, do you have Corvettes? I've got you're, BMR you're, you're sounding a lot like Corvette guy. Well, do you have Corvettes? It's got the Corvette engine. <laughs> it's you know the 400 horse mm-hmm. six liter. Yeah. Uh, I mean, seventy five thousand miles. It, it's proven. There's that one with ten. You don't know. <laughs> now, I like that. This guy's got a personality. That's good. Okay, but yeah, you're trying to rip I mean, me off, Bruce, and I, I don't mean, like I'm people trying to rip me off. Why are you trying to rip me off? Oh. I'm the used no, car man, dealer. I'm, just, I'm supposed I'm to be trying to... to rip you off. Oh, no, don't do that. I'll give you... No, I'm, I'm, I'm all good at... You know, on a 70,000-mile white trash blue, I'm, I'm a 15-grand guy. Go, go around. Go to Carmen. Here's what I'll do. If anybody gives you a written offer for more than sixteen grand, I will send you a check for two hundred dollars. But I'm going to verify oh. it and not let you lie to me and don't do Photoshop. But I'm. Oh no no no! I, I'm I'm an old guy. I don't I don't do that okay. stuff. I don't know how. Good. Well, anyway, now you know what your car's <laughs> worth. It ain't worth thirty. It ain't oh, worth twenty five. It's got seventy on it. If I run it through my auction lane, which is full of dealers, and they're going to bid it up, dealers mark stuff up. They make about twenty five hundred dollars a rip on the on the retail side, and you guys have to remember also what people are asking and what they'll take are two different numbers. But yeah, the market on on this rig's probably it's mid teens is what it is. So, good luck. Keep drinking champagne. Um, have other people call in and try to rip me off. Let's steal John Clay's money. That's what this is today. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Why are they trying to rip us off? He's trying. I mean, it's <laughs> because they're always proud of those SSRs. Uh, I don't know if there's a we person. We always lose like, our oh, ass. Oh, my God. We lose our ass every time. If I give him 15 grand, Mike will lose. Yes. We'll lose. Yeah. Every time. Oh, yeah. Every time. It's damn to say. 800-800-7234. 800-800-RADIO. J.D., what do you have? Want to do Florida news? I just yeah. go. Let's just do that. And now, from North America's own land down under, it's time for Sunshine State News with your certified lifeguard, J.D. Ryan. Well, back in November, a cop in the Florida Panhandle had an unarmed guy. You know, before they put him in the car, they frisk him up to make sure he had no weapons on him, put him handcuffed in the back of the squad car. They were standing next. The police officer was standing outside the vehicle and thought the guy from inside shot at him. Actually... It was an acorn that had landed on the roof of the car. <laughs> the cop, not only did you know the combat roll where you tuck and you roll and you come up and you shoot, he did that, emptied a full clip, so did his partner, cut number seven. Just fired! Just fired! Just fired! You know. To. If, you're, if you're shot, it was because your partner shot I you. I it felt like it. Dude, am I hit? So like, they, wow. So they got, the, go ahead. The perpetrator's all handcuffed in the back of the police vehicle. Frisked. Mm-hmm. He's locked down. He's laying down in the back seat. He's done. The officer is walking around the passenger side of the vehicle, and as he passes, an acorn falls on the top of the car. And it goes chink. Don't say chink. You can't say chink anymore on the radio. Okay. And it goes, it goes pop, pop. And he does like three combat rolls down the curb and Here's lands and starts shooting at the car. And he empties he empties his service revolver like that's thirteen rounds walking to you and me. Right. His partner starts shooting at the car, and it's just mayhem. And he's screaming and yelling. Luckily, the guy in the back of the car didn't get hit. This officer says he thinks he got hit, but he did not because he was the only person shooting. And the poor bastard in the back of the car here, he did nothing wrong but have an acorn fall in the car that he was in. Yeah. Right. 
right. So that guy's not a cop anymore, right? I mean, he can't be, right? Boy, that's funny. It's really, just weird. Take you out for retraining. Mm. Yeah, what we're gonna do? I think he's he didn't. I read where he said, "Ah, uh, you know what? This is not for me. I need to go to hang it up." <laughs> Maybe Chick Fil A. Yeah. Jay in New Orleans. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, you just said something about don't Photoshop me, and I've I've been wondering that for a while. I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't want to give anybody an idea. But how do you verify, like, when somebody gets a CarMax offer that they've really sent? them and you the same photos of the car to get the to get the same off to be comparable because i have friends at carmax and i send them a vin number and they tell me it's real oh so you got the inside track there huh? got the inside <laughs> track there huh we hadn't had well, good in a while. good for you man <laughs> <laughs> do they actually do that oh, oh yeah. yes oh lie cheat and steal do people actually do that yes, yes. We'll be right back. My name is John Clay Wolf by Cars Radio for America's Best Car Buyer. Give me the VIN.com. Call in now because we're going to do the next segment a quick hit on the car bids. 800 800 7234. 800 800 7234. That's 800 800 Radio is what that spells out. And I will bid the cars fast and furiously right here on the radio in just a moment after this song for Give Me the VIN.com. It's Gigi from the John Clay Wolf Show. Do you want the most money for your used car? Do you want a hassle-free process? Of course you do. Give Me the VIN will beat your written CarMax offer or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give Me the VIN is A-plus rated by the BBB and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVIN.com. So easy you can do it in your eyes. On the air every Saturday morning from New York to Los Angeles to Houston and broadcasting to the rest of the world online at jcwshow.com or johnclaywolf.com. You're listening to the John Clay Wolf Show. Want more of the John Clay Wolf Show? Check out the largest radio show and fastest growing podcast at jcwshow.com. <laughs> Jeff in Alabama, call back with that uh, after the lightning round because this is a pretty good story. I like your uh, please shot, shot you in the hand story, but I can't do it right now in the lightning round. It's going to be about 10 minutes.
One minute, callers, make sure you're off Bluetooth and radio's down. One minute, uh, off Bluetooth and radio's down. seconds. Stand by. This is the lightning round where I bid people's cars on the radio. Golly, man, people are buried. They're so buried. Get a preacher and a backhoe. Scott, you there? Yes. An 18 Silverado half ton LTZ with 120,000 miles on it, you owe 33 grand? Yes, sir. Do you have a $10,000 check to buy your way out of it? Uh, Possibly. I have talked to my wife. I think you're going to have to. How'd you? How'd you? Yeah, about about ten thousand less than about twenty. Right. Twenty. Yeah. It's it's just it's it's. How did I bad credit? That's how I did it. Who's who's your lien holder? Santander. Uh, Chase. No, Chase. What what rate did they charge you? I could not tell you. I know it's high because I don't have good credit. I'm sorry about that. Thanks to an ex-wife. Thanks to an ex-wife. What did she do to affect your credit? Took all my money when I was working and charged everything up. Was she cheating on you, too? No. She's too ugly. Maybe. She... Who knows? Was she Who ugly cares? or pretty? I guess she's pretty to me. Yeah? Pretty until whatever. We've got her, on the, we've got her on the phone here. Okay. Uh, G. Um, <laughs> she's not listening. G. G. This is a cue to you to act like you're his wife. Are you? She wasn't she listening. Listen she wasn't now. listening. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a lightning round where you're checked out, so you didn't have to do it. You don't even know what's going on, do you, Gigi? I heard "super bitch," <laughs> <laughs> and I came. It's like, it's like, okay, I heard it. I heard the call. Super bitch. I said, I don't know what it is. I hear it. I'm here. The bat light. Scott, super That's bitch right. is here for you. <laughs> I'm here, baby. I'm here. You ruined his credit, super bitch, and you cheated. I did. Yes. And lied too. Okay, well, just just to, just to let you know, Miss Super Bitch, I got all my money back now. Okay. Well, good. Oh. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank right. you. We'll be super back. Bitch. We'll be back in just a minute. My name's John Clay Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> That's Super Bitch. John Clay Wolf and his trusty <laughs> sidekick, Super, super Bitch. Super Bitch. Super Bitch. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> Selling your car doesn't have to be difficult. This is easy. Do you want the most money for your vehicle? Of course you do. And a hassle-free process? That's GiveMeTheVin.com. GiveMeTheVin is fast, easy, reliable, and pays top dollar for your car. It's that simple. GiveMeTheVin is A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVin.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can. Yep. 
John Clay Wolf Show ages like a fine milk. Let's just check this out. Oh, God. <laughs> that's, that's bad. <laughs> check out the podcast, vids, socials, all that stuff at jcwshow.com. This is the John Clay Wolf Show. I found some better sounds no one's ever heard I wish I had a better voice to sing some better words I wish I found some chords in an order that is new I wish I didn't have to rhyme every time I sang I was told when I get older all my fears would shrink But now I'm insecure and I care what people think My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think My name's Blurry Face and I Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Wish we could turn back time to the good old days when the mama sang us to sleep, but now we're stressed out. Sometimes a certain smell will take me back to when I was young How come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from? I'd make a candle out of it if I ever found it Try to sell it, never sell out of it I'd probably only sell one Maybe to my brother Cause we have the same nose, same clothes Homegrown as stones throw from a creek we used to roam But it would remind us of when nothing really mattered Out of student loans and treehouse homes We all would take a ladder My, my name's Blurry Face and I care what you think my name's Blurry Face and I care what you think Wish we could turn back time To the good old days When the mama sang us to sleep But now we're stressed out Wish we could turn back time To the good old days When the mama sang us to sleep Edward and Palm Bay hang tight. I'm going to take your call for a second. One minute. Make sure you're off radio. Uh, radio's turned off and Bluetooth is down. One minute. We need to make money. Yeah. We used to play pretend. Give each other different names. We would build a rocket ship and then we fly far away. Used to dream of outer space, but now they're laughing at the face. Saying, wake up, you need to make money. Yeah. Wish we could turn back time. To the good old days When the mama sang us to sleep But now we're stressed out Wish we could turn back to 30 seconds, 30 seconds To the good old days When the mama sang us to sleep But now we're stressed out we used to play pretend, used to play pretend bunny We used to play pretend, wake up, you need the money Used to play pretend, used to play pretend bunny We used to play pretend, wake up, you need the money Used to play pretend, give each other different names We would build a rocket ship and then we'd fly far away Used to dream of outer space, but now they're laughing at the face Saying, wake up, you need to make money yeah. My daughter's 17 years old And I know I've given her daddy issues Because here's the deal I need her to listen to me And I need her to respect me But I also try to show her the respect that I want her to seek out in a partner. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, I know it's exciting, but it's not a good balancing act because I sound like an idiot in my own house. I'll say things like, put your phone down, get your ass over here and pick this up. That is okay for a father to say, but not a boyfriend. <laughs> if a boyfriend uses his tone with you, you leave his ass, but by God, you're gonna pick this shit up for your dad. <laughs> Well, it's nice of you to cheer, but you know that's a daddy issue. She's going to leave a meeting when 
she's 30, just like, only my father yells at me. <laughs> The John Clay Wolf Show. 800-800-723-4800-800-RADIO. Uh, I want to... So you guys want to talk about the comments that I make on the fly in my busy work day when I send you notes. <laughs> yes, your cryptic emails. Cryptic emails. We've All discussed the, this yeah. before. John Clay Wolf haikus. Gigi, you don't get much of this. I do not. Um... Cryptic haikus, and, and and you try to translate what my because I have a thought for a bit or an idea, and I'll shoot it to Turley or Bob or JD and say, and I'll throw it out there real quick while I'm driving or in the middle of a meeting, and it's it's in my head a lot better than it is on paper, <laughs> <laughs> and they have trouble deciphering. Before I do that, real quick, I want to grab Ed. Ed, Palm Bay, Florida, O five F one fifty XLT, fifty thousand miles extended cab. Uh, so it's got cloth seats, right? And car- uh, carpet, not not rubber mats? Correct. Carpet. Any- I'm 50-50 on whether I'm thinking about selling it or whatever. But do you still want to take my – it's my cream puff. I th- owned it, bought it brand new, mm-hmm. and I'm really trying to either sell it or I want to find out what it's worth. Are you gay or straight? How- I'm straight. Damn it. Do Why? I say gay? I mean, not, no, 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 no. But, but, <laughs> I, it's like nasal. I have a nasally New York voice. I'm from New York. I have Mr. Nasally. Everybody says that. The cream puff so, thing in a, South Florida. I was like, because see, a gay man's truck that is a cream puff is worth more money than a straight man's truck. A gay man's cream oh, puff shit. is more creamy and puffier than a straight... Is, is more a gay man's cream puff is more creamy and puffier than a straight man's. I mean, I would buy used shoes off of a gay well, man. I'm, well, if you give me, I, well, I might be by then. I, you know, <laughs> so, so, so the, can if, I go that route? If I gave you seven thousand, would that let, would, would you be happy and sell it? The paint is brand new on this truck. Everything's new. I change the fluids every twenty thousand. All of them. Boom. Are you Jewish? Every fluid in it's brand new. Are you do, huh? Are you Jewish? Well, no, oh. I'm um, Catholic from New York, <laughs> Irish. <laughs> All right. What does this have to do? I mean, I'm, you I'm, go I'm, by. I'm, prof- <laughs> I'm profiling. I'm profiling the car. Profi- I'm making an investment into you, and I want to know who I'm talking to. That's- that's less money if it's pro- you're profiling me, sir. That's not <laughs> nice, John. I am profiling you. So, so <laughs> All right. does seventy five hundred buy it? No. Does eight no. grand buy it? No. No. What no. buys it? What I want is ten. Ten. Okay, then I bought it. That's now. What are we gonna do? Hey. Now what are we gonna do? Okay, so I just I just bought it for ten grand. We've Not got, yet. I didn't put it on. See, but it, it made, so but you're saying it's. I, I'm dealing with a guy. You, 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 I mean, you called me, and you want ten. You'd probably take nine, but you want ten. And I, I knew when I said I'll give ten, you'd start backpedaling on me. Why is that? I didn't. That well, don't you have to put it on? Give me the VIN dot com first. Mean, before, my word is I mean, my bond, Edward. You still have to load it uh, in, and you I load know, it in and John, say, "That's why I'm calling." And you say, I love "John, you, man. I, I love your show. It's I, my second time calling. I, I love you guys. So you GG, just everybody, go to everybody. Go to get, go to get, go to give me the VIN and say, I'm "I'm sorry." Yes. They all listen to the show. All the buyers say, "You heard me. I'm the gay guy from Florida with the clean truck." <laughs> and <laughs> and I, John, my friends are listening. I'm not gay. And, my friends are listening. And I have the little I Ford truck that's a cream puff. Give me more money. So Have you ever seen the ambiguously Walmart. gay duo com, uh, cartoon? No. Uh, you need to watch that. You'll like no. it. Hey, um, just tell them. Tell them I'm. Y- y'all bought my truck for ten grand. What do I do now? How do I get my money? And they'll they'll get it to you. Okay. All right. Thanks. Eight hundred eight hundred seven two three four eight hundred eight hundred radio. So he went by for ten grand. Right. <laughs> <That's all it's laughs> worth a try. We're changing lives here. We're woke. Changing <laughs> 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 Okay, so y'all yeah. want to bust my balls? Well, I mean, you know, it's just trying to decipher what J- John Clay Wolf is asking us in the emails. Everybody uh, gets segment. that. Yeah, oh, what yeah. does John mean when he says... 
Charlie and I have been doing this for years. Oh, yeah. Every Tur- time we'll, we'll yeah. talk like, all right, so what is he asking here? We'll literally meet and we'll try to decipher these emails. Tur- and Turley's busy. Like, Turley's, like, constantly busy. He basically GMs the company, okay? Not basically. I call him. <laughs> he's like, what's up, Bob? I'm like, did you get the new haiku? He's like, no, let me. What does this mean? I'm like, I don't know. Like, maybe maybe you know what it means. And because you're busy, nobody wants to get back to you and say, hey, what did you mean by that? Because then you get more upset. Correct, yes. <laughs> so this week you sent one to pre-K, actually. Huh? And pre-K had White to decipher. Guy. I didn't even see this one. Oh, yeah. No, he had to decipher this haiku by John. And he actually came up with something. I don't know if this is what you're asking. Oh, though. good. Yes. Yeah, should I read the email? Yes. It's... um. It's titled New Segment, and it starts off, Let's try a segment called Black ABBA. Uh, <laughs> black people doing white people things and vice versa. Uh, you know, he said, basically, give me a few stories for you to read and best match ABBA songs to an urban song. So, uh, <laughs> I, I hope I got what you wanted. Uh, I got a couple of comparisons. Of you know ABBA songs to to rap songs, right? Oh boy, I'm liking it. <laughs> so, Gigi, are you feeling it? I feel it. I all feel right, it, baby. Right, I feel right, it. All right. all right. So this is, of course, everybody knows this song, Dancing Queen. Mm-hmm. That was the last caller. He's the Dancing Queen. <laughs> <laughs> and so you wanted to compare it to a hip hop song, right? Not is that really what you're... compare it, just like like change the lyrics around. You know how he does these mixes. Oh, well, no, he didn't do that, but he found something similar. Okay. Oh, okay. By Big Sean. <laughs> dance, 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 Stop. Now make that mother, mother hammer time like. You know, that's a similar song to Dancing Queen. Yeah, instead of listening to ABBA in the hood, they listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we thought you were asking. You feel it, huh? You know you feel it. I was just thinking, um, taking some of these rap songs and laying them on top of ABBA beats. So not like, you know, here's, of course, oh. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, here I go again. My, yeah. my. I'm just trying to be culturally diverse. I'm trying to bring the world together. I watched that We Are the World uh, Netflix video. Oh, yeah. And about the Ethiopians and all that. And I was like, we need to do something good like that. So you weren't asking for juvenile mama got ass. Hey, get it from a mama. Hey, get it from a mama. Get it from a mama. So that was what we we came up with out of your email, John. Well, I, I it, see now though. It was better than not doing it. You, <laughs> yeah. you, you wanted me to put the lyrics to Juvenile's Mama Got Ass over the oh. Mama Mia beat. Yes! Okay. Uh, That's Black Abba. <laughs> I see what you're saying now. No, I got it from my mama. <laughs> <laughs> so we can try it again next week. All Baba, right. do you have any other bad haikus? I did find, uh, yeah, the, 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 um, un, the, is it unambiguously gay, unambiguously gay. lyrics? Yeah. We were talking about Air Supply last week, and right. a friend of yours said, he went to see Air Supply, and it, a lot of the, their songs seem gay. Right. <laughs> Air Supply? Yeah, and I think it's more the way Here that... Here I am, the one that you love. It's yeah. an 80s love tune. The man. way Air Supply guys look at each other when they play the songs they're looking at each other. Oh, you know, the I think video. it's more that than the lyrics, and like I have racked my brain trying to do this. I did find a, a an un, unintentionally gay lyric for you, you okay. ready unintentional gay lyrics is what we were fishing for it's a it's a michael jackson lyric you okay. ready yes. it's very quick your butt is mine it's from bad <laughs> your butt is mine that's all i got <laughs> that's a pretty good sound though it's almost like it was produced did you hear the echo and it's yeah. one more time mm-hmm. your butt is mine you got to sing more often that's you're, what i do and singer. there's and there's a country song that i think could be you know, if you use your imagination, okay, the old the old Mel Tillis song. I've got the halls if you got the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. My name's John Clay. We'll buy cars on the radio for America's best car buyer. Give me the VIN. Give me the VIN. Give me the VIN.com. And you can watch us being silly right now live at our YouTube channel. It's streaming live. JCWshow.com. JCWshow.com. And I apologize for this air supply song, but I'm just going to drag you through it because I, you are the one that I love.
could carry your smile in my heart for times when my life The John Clay Wolf Show is heard every week on great stations like 98.7 The Gator, the Palm Beaches Classic Rock, and Springfield, Missouri's KXUS, US 97, the rock of the Ozarks. Catch the nation's fastest growing podcast and live video stream at jcwshow.com. The John Clay Wolf Show. Oh, well, he's very popular. The sportos, the motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, wasteoids, dweebies, dickheads. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. John Clay Wolf.
30 seconds. Stand by. We got a new guy in California. His name's Mike G. I call him Beastie Boy. What a dad joke. Terrible. Terrible. 800-800-7234-800-800 radio. I think we need to do Black Metallica on top of Black ABBA. Oh. <laughs> Who would be the Black Metallica? I don't know. Maybe, maybe Jackson 5? Oh, they had a guitar. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 800-800 radio. Don't look under your bed, baby. Ooh. <laughs> uh, heard you got a shout out on Heidi and Frank. Crab, South Carolina, I mean South Carolina, Southern California. What, 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 what happened? Good morning. Hey, they were doing a, a St. Jude uh, Radiothon the last couple of days, and, and uh, they shouted you out yesterday with said, uh, I bet you John Clay Wolf would hop on board and... and I thought you would too, um, for the kids dying with cancer mm-hmm. uh, in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Jude's Hospital. Yeah, you know, um, it's famous, and uh, I, I told him, I bet you would, dude. Okay, I will. So thanks. Hop on. All right, hop on. We're hopped on St. Jude's. Go to KLOS dot com. Donate now. I guess. Oh, they want me to donate now. Yes. Uh, right. No way. Get out of here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. It's time for Mail from Jail it from is. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, are you there? Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Now this week's Mail from Jail entry reads, Mr. Wolf, how are you? My name is Willie Torres. I'm locked up here in a Texas prison. I've been listening to your show for years, though. You used to be more raw than Howard Stern. But I can see how you want to unleash the beast sometimes still these days. John, I wanted to ask you, instead of that Lion King dude that's locked up like me, you should let me call in every Saturday. Are you talking about um, 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 Joe, what's his name? Joe Exotic. Joe Joe Exotic. I think he's talking about that Joe Exotic. He says, I got a lot of stories that'll crack you up. You guys are like family to me every Saturday. It's like I get a visit in here. You keep me laughing. It's sort of like a reality show on the radio. I did want to ask you, or Gigi, or Bobo Turley, J.D. Ryan, or even DJ Pre-K, if you could put my name and TDCJ number out there so I could get a pen pal. I'm just looking for a friend to help me get through this. Through the years, everyone just (laughs) jumped ship on me all of a sudden. And I'm in here for methamphetamine. Uh. Possession and manufacture with intent to sell. <laughs> Gonna be a while. <laughs> I should have got out of Lake Taco Connie, Texas when I had a chance. Anyway, here's my name and address if anybody wants to write. This all right, John? Everybody's begging. You can write to Willie Torres. <laughs> Everybody's begging. Wayne Scott Unit. P.O. Box number 660-400, Dallas, Texas, 75266-04100. Willie's TDJC number is 209-8107. He says, P.S., what do you call an elevator full of white people? (laughs) Oh, jeez. Really? (laughs) What? What? A box of crackers. Oh, God. (laughs) I just had an idea about Willie Torres that I hadn't had before. What's that? You can send your mail from jail entries to P.O. Box 471517. That's in Fort Worth, Texas. 76147 is the zip code. Thank you, Willie Torres. A box of crackers. Thank you, Willie Torres. If you'd like to beg for handouts or 
He just wants a friend. A friend. Uh, just call in 800-800-RADIO. Hey, you know who needs a fan, uh, a friend, is Fanny Willis. Who's this? Have y'all followed this? this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lady in Georgia that is prosecuting Trump for trying to rig the election. They put her on stand this week. Oh, is that the... She got some kind of a big judgment yesterday? Like No, that's another lady. That's another lady. He's suing. got more... You know, I'm, I'm watching some of this Trump court stuff, and they might break his ass financially. Think so? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's starting to stack. He got like $355 million. Million dollar yesterday. judgment. And, and then he got in another a different one, case. In a different case. And he got a $200 million judgment <laughs> against him somewhere else. So he's going to appeal him, but sure. he's got to put a bond up. By the way, What's I don't know bond? how... How good you know, if, if you know how good it sounds to my ear for you to say Fanny Willis. Because it's spelled F-A-N-N-I, and I don't get a Fanny from that. And they keep calling her Fanny Willis. Gigi, am I wrong? Like, is I'm, it? I'm just saying she got bigger problems more than just yeah. Fanny or Fanny. So you hired, she hired her boyfriend mm-hmm. to be the chief prosecutor on this election Fraud. case, uh-huh. right? Right. Now, they're both saying that they weren't a couple before he was hired. It was after he was hired. And they took these lavish trips, and he paid for them all, and she paid him back with cash. Right. They say. something else. They're trying to prove that she hired him for a Mm -hmm. huge salary so that some of that money could funnel back to her. And they haven't proven yet that that's not the case. And on Thursday, she blew up and said, wait, wait, wait. I'm not on trial here. These people are on trial. As much as you try to put me on trial. It's a mess. It's yeah. Did you notice she had her dress on backwards, literally? Did she? Like, look at her dress and look at the zipper on okay. the on the front of that pink dress. Okay. She put it on backwards, and you know, I'm sure we've all put on something backwards before. But when you go to zip it up, you'd realize that it's incorrect. No, I noticed it immediately. Mm-hmm. You know, you know how I look at women, right? Right. Uh, yeah, and I thought, well, that looks backwards. It's backwards. She's absolutely my type. Bass Ackards. That Fanny Willis. Is she your type? Absolutely. Uh oh. Yes. Oh, wait Uh-oh. a minute. She's Travis Kelsey's type. <laughs> Is that right? You know, all he had was black <laughs> girls before Taylor Swift. Really? No yeah. way. A football yeah. player? A pro football player? I knew I liked him. I knew it, right? Kansas look, City. What's up, Travis? Look it up. <laughs> you For got real? him a tall, skinny white girl? Ain't got no meat on her bones? Hmm. Mm. How about him yelling at the coach? What was yeah. up with that? Not I don't a good like look. It. Not a good look at all. He drank a lot after the Super Bowl, and I think he did get a oh, chance God. to uh, apologize, actually. He did, hear he this apologized. Yeah. yeah, which, uh, do you want to hear him singing drunk? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Travis Kelsey singing drunk, celebrating the Super Bowl victory. If you know this song, sing along. He drunk. Blame it all on my roots. Oh, God. I showed up in boots and ruined the Niners affair. <laughs> <laughs> the last one to know. We were the last one to show. We were the last one they thought they'd see there. And I saw the surprise. <laughs> that fear in their eyes. They we... Took that glass of champagne, Pat. Pat took that glass of champagne. I promise you. <laughs> I got friends. It took the mic from him. He was falling down on the stage. Yeah, he was that drunk. To take the mic from him. Are you kidding me? Did Taylor sing along too? No, she was on her way to whatever concert she was going to. See, now that's that's hopeful though for me because I don't think I've ever been that intoxicated. I mean, that's bad. That's kind of sad, actually. <laughs> Why is it sad? He's having fun. Okay, good for him. He won the Super Bowl. That's nice. They say he did get a chance. Congratulations, Kansas City. Yes. Damn congratulations. That's right. They say he did, though, get a chance to talk to Andy Reid about a little little thing that he had during the game. He he finally got a chance to uh, apologize, I guess. Yeah, they did. Listen, old man, I'm going to whip your ass if you do that again. Cut 3.2. I don't enjoy talking to you that way. I don't know why you insist on making me blow my top. (laughs) We've been on a lot of adventures together, but it seems like you haven't learned anything. Anything. You think on it. (laughs) I think he was yelling and saying, hey, Taylor's here. Give me the ball. Come on. (laughs) Maybe. You're right there? Yeah. Who was the gal with the orange hair? That's, uh, what's her name? Ice Spice? Ice Ice Spice. Who is that? Uh, hip hop artist that's got some booty, right? Pre K. 
That's all I know about her. Hold on. Ice Spice. Yeah, what about Ice Spice? It's a hip hop artist with some booty. Yeah, from yeah, Bronx. yeah. She's a she's a New York artist, uh, and she uh, she shakes that thing. She wears scantily clad clothing, and I can show enough dig it. My wife saw her in the uh, bathroom at the airport, and when she got in the car, oh, she's word. like, "I know that that lady was somebody. I don't know who she is, but she said she was wearing these clothes that were like crinkling when she walked like a stormtrooper." <laughs> and said so she it's a costume. She's got to be a celebrity. I just don't know who it is and that crazy hair. And then we get to the. We're watching the game in Vegas at the sports book at the Aria. And she's like, there she is. There she is. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I can't play her songs. Well, well you don't have time anyway. No. you got 10 seconds. We'll be back in a minute. We're going to lose the East Coast here on a couple of affiliates. So jump over to JCW Show. If, we lo- if you lose the broadcast in your uh, Florida, North Carolina, D.C. markets, go to jcwshow.com right now. And stream us live, the video and the audio. It'll be right there. We've got a lot of show left, and we're saving the best for last. Be back this minute. The John Clay Wolf Show is heard every week on great stations like 98.7 The Gator, the Palm Beaches Classic Rock, and Springfield, Missouri's KXUS, US 97, the rock of the Ozarks. Catch the nation's fastest growing podcast and live video stream at jcwshow.com.
top of her head She's as really as playful as a pussycat But momentarily out of action Temporarily out of class She's absolutely dry seconds. Stand by. asked him to work on his misogyny, but his initial thesis started out as not all whores are strippers, but, well, you understand the dilemma. When describing a total lack of knowledge about current events, his friend reminded him, ignorance is bliss. His response was, maybe for an ignorant dumbass, but for the rest of us, it's a f***ing pain in the ass. The fact that the new Cybertrucks are prone to rust is proof that maybe his hero Elon Musk really does know how to manufacture a quintessential American pickup truck. He is the world's biggest son of a bitch. Hey man, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, make mine a natty light tall boy. Yeah, buddy. Bro. 
Broadcasting live from the Wolf Radio Studios, it's time for the John Clay Wolf Show. America's largest weekend morning show. Hit him up now. 800-800-RADIO. 800-800-RADIO. Check out the podcast at jcwshow.com or johnclaywolf.com. Give me the fame. The John Clay Wolf Show. DJ Homeschool, will you throw up that image I sent you of the horse in the arena last night on the screen? Guys, if you're not watching the video stream, you should. If you want to play along with this little segment, because it's a visual, which is hard to do on radio. Go to jcwshow.com, jcwshow.com, and click over to the YouTube stream. But we can describe what we're seeing. Bryce, do you have it up? He's looking for it right now. You said a horse. Yeah, I I sent it to him an hour ago. You guys got to move quicker. He doesn't have it, does he? I don't know. Ask him. Bryce, do you not have it? I'm pulling it up right now. I just saw it. Well, I sent it to you an hour ago. You sent it 20 minutes ago. Okay. <laughs> oh. So how long, how, how long does it take? Ouch. Jesus Christ. So I, I, am, I, I have a weird personality disorder of sorts, obviously. I'm attracted to eclectic, weird people, it seems. And I'm pretty square. I mean, look at how I dress. I'm, I'm pretty, you know, white, white box, normal. Whatever normal is. Know. You look like the Zodiac Killer, kind of. Oh, thanks. <laughs> with your, with your glasses normal. on. But last night at 11 o'clock, after several beers, I'm in a rodeo arena down the street at a friend's house. This guy I call Elvis, because he just always has a crew around him. And he's just a fun-loving guy. He's a wealthy guy, and he flies around in a helicopter. Hmm. Okay. And uh, and I stopped, and I was and I saw this scene in his rodeo arena so I, I've never heard of this. Let's get drunk and ride horses. <laughs> Wait, is this a song? Or? This is a segment, I guess. I, th- this is this guy's life. I'm not going to say his name. Uh-huh. If he's listening, uh, he might be mad at me, but it's very f- comical. But this is a scene out of Let's Get Drunk and Ride Horses. Are you looking at this? Okay, we see... Uh, oh, my God, dude. So tell me what this scene is. Like, describe this scene. That looks something like some out of a movie. <laughs> Because these three a, people would never be together naturally in life. No. Is that a guy wearing a fur coat? Yeah, a Mexican guy from Mexico wearing a fur coat. Some uh, Jordans, some nice Jordans. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's got some money. Right, and then you can keep explaining. Uh, is that Little John to the left of the cowboy hat? It is a Little John wannabe, but he sings like Dave Matthews. And the reason I know that is because he was set up with a guitar rig and a PA on the side of the arena Singing at a PA at eleven o'clock last night, and the only other person in this scene is me. Yeah, there's four people there at <laughs> Let's Get Drunk and Ride Horses, and you're all looking at the horse. Well, the poor I, horses. They, just he he was explaining to the brothers what about horses horsemanship. Um, what's that? Horsemanship, just yeah. just things about horses. But he was teaching these guys about horses. And I just stopped and took a picture of that just so I would have a memory of this moment. I'm like, what in the hell? I don't do drugs, but this looks like people that do. Some kind of a party <laughs> right, right out of Boogie Nights. In the middle of a ranch <laughs> no, at minute. 11 o'clock at night. We don't know any of the guys. So the guy I know the, one of them really the well. black hat is the guy talking. Right. It's okay. his place. I didn't know. All right. So what you can do with this horse, you can take it to your, your ranch over there, mm-hmm. and y'all can have some fun with it. Put it in a hip-hop video. Oh, there is one more guy, and he's half black, half white. I called him Hootie. And he was the healer. And they were heading and healing, healing. on the horses. Healing. healing. It's team roping. Oh, okay. But I've just never known that people go to the bar and get, you know, whiskey bent and hell bound. And then like, let's turn on the lights of the arena, bring up the cattle in the middle of the night, and let's do some team roping You've never with seen our that? black and Mexican friends from the city. You've never seen that? I've never seen this. I've seen this a thousand times. That's what, what we used to call a covey of tweakers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, except they had no money and they had no horses. Right. Never yeah. more than half a dozen. Well, actually, many times. They did. So did Little yeah. John and the Hispanic Hispanic dude do some calf roping? No, they, hell no. They they were absolutely out on it. They tried to swing the rope a little bit. They're but, the crew. But but you know so so the the kid in the fur coat is likes the other guy in the cowboy hat and he wants him to be his mentor. He came from Mexico and he's trying to get away from Mexico problems. And then the black guy with the hat on in the red pants and the trench coat 
is a singer and the guy with the black hat is working on a music label as another business investment. So he's out there showing off his music to try to get his interest to sign him to his new label. Pre-K, where were you? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Man, I don't know. At the wrong party, I guess. I mean, doesn't that look like a scene that you would be a part of? Yeah, I would. It looks like they got enough eclectic characters out there, but I would definitely, you know, make a splash. The next time we do Let's Get Drunk and Ride Horses, I will call you in the middle of the night. Oh, hell yeah. You <laughs> oh, know I'm in. Uh, okay. D, if you're watching, you should be laughing because this is hilarious. Ballpark, what time was this? 11.15 a.m. PM. And you know my cutoff on Fridays is 11. 11 o'clock, yeah. And I had def I'd had about seven Miller Lights, and they'd had about 12. And they were team roping at high speed, wide open. I'm like, you people are crazy. Yeah, if something bad happens here, it's a long care flight ride. Right. Team roping is dangerous, man. Let's get drunk and ride horses. horses. Only in the country. Only in the country. <laughs> Only in Texas. Yeah. Welcome to Texas, California. <laughs> Other things that happen in the country, we talked about maybe UFOs popping around here because we really are kind of remote out here. Well, in mid-January up in remote Canada, several pilots reported multiple sightings, different pilots, very fast moving lights, some arranging themselves into triangle forms and doing different things. We have audio from these airline pilots. Got number 6.1, Mike. R-7062, go ahead. Yeah, is there any active military uh, airspace just like north of Winnipeg? Uh no, nothing, nothing I'm aware of. You said north of Winnipeg? Yeah. Uh, no, not right now. Okay. Yeah, check Canada 7086. Uh, you see these lights at 12 o'clock? Yeah, forming triangles, then flying away and coming back. And uh, Winnipeg from Cargo Jet 937. Yeah, go ahead. We've been seeing those lights for probably the last uh, 18 months or so, just, just for your information if you wanted to add that. Yeah, same thing too. Movements all over. Sometimes they make a triangle, sometimes they make a diamond, a square, they're bright, then they disappear all over. Sure, be nice to get answers on that for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. You know, the government's saying it's. Oh, you're just seeing the Starlink satellites. No, you're not seeing the Starlinks. They they go uh -huh. by. They go by in a straight line and slowly. I just noticed this, and I know I know Turley grabbed it because this is a Turley kind of deal. But when she says, uh, "Did you have any military traffic over uh, Winnipeg?" He's just like, asking. No. That's what it is. Like he knows something, man. It's not military. No. Yes, it is. It's, it's not, not alien stuff. Mean, military's in, up in a triangle formation. And in, first of all, militaries, when they go out and practice anything, they have a separate area that's cordoned mm. off. It's cordoned the new. Off. It's the new super stealth Air Force Three. Then they Don do it Jr. somewhere else. They wouldn't plane. do it where airline pilots could see it. Because Don Jr. is going to need a plane. I just posted the uh, "Let's drink, get drunk and ride horses" photo on the John Clay Wolf Show <laughs> Facebook page for those that are still as confused as i because i'm the more i look at it the more confused i get what are you doing about, about uh aliens nothing we're just talking about aliens because jd so. is trying to convince people that it's real it is real it why is would real. airline it's, pilots it make thank you very much gg for helping mm -hmm. it's very suggestive that so many people that do this for a living for a living they have a lot to lose by talking about this say that they've seen something in the same locale at the same time and people are like, no, there's no military traffic here. Why? What do they look like? And they all describe them exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yeah, they just like poking you guys to make you think, oh, oh it's real. Oh, you it's think real. airline oh, pilots yeah. are doing that? They're risking oh, yeah. it's their a big careers. Joke. It's a big joke for okay, them. Okay, I see. This, is, what this is, is how they have fun, J uh, JD. <laughs> what is, what is, <laughs> what is 6.2, John, Bob? 6.2 uh, is, is after they, well, just play it 6.2. We're fairly certain that, by and large, these were flares of Starlink satellites. One of the pilots disputed a similar suggestion. Definitely not satellites. It doesn't seem like satellites, as per the Morningstar uh, pilot who came back and twice stated, that's not a satellite. Okay, Canadian. That's what they're saying. <laughs> oh, because they're Canadian, they're that's not the other believable. Part too, yes. Oh, yeah. I see. Airline pilots in Canada. Oh, hey, it's our friendly Canadian in here. Take off, Jose. You know, we've had UFOs for years, you know, sorry. Kind of remote, remote area up there. They just show up in Canada a lot, do they? Yeah, I had a friend, you know, that lived out in Nova Scotia. Oh, Nova yeah, Scotia. and he said they landed on his lawn one time. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, it was Christmas Eve Eve. Eve Eve. That's December 23rd. Gotcha. Yeah, uh -huh. and he said they were really friendly, you really? know, and they drank some cider. You know, and they actually brought him a gift for Christmas and said, but don't open it, eh? Until Christmas time, you little hoser. 
Yeah. I don't believe that happened. And he waited till Christmas and he opened it. You know what it was? What was in there? Fruit cake. <laughs> yeah. Alien. So, you know, the aliens know about fruit cake. So I think they're nice. How strange could it be? Yeah, he said it was really good fruit cake. Not the bad fruit cake, eh? <laughs> Sorry. Coming up next is the lightning round where I bid cars on the radio. Forgive me, the Vin.com. Call in now, 800 800 7234. If you just joined in and we've gone from let's get drunk and ride horses to aliens, to aliens, to car bidding, to Canadians, and you're confused, hang tight. We'll screw you up worse. If you have vertigo and want to talk to John Clay Wolf, 800 800 radio. If you have vertigo, vertigo, 800 800 7234. It's 800 800 radio. You can help John will bid your car coming up next. Don't go away. The John Clay Wolf Show. Check out the GMTV Garage YouTube channel, complete with live video stream at jcwshow.com.
callers uh, back in two minutes. Make sure you're off Bluetooth and radio's down. Off Bluetooth and radio's down. We'll be here in minute 45 now. One minute, one minute. Radio's off. Bluetooth's off. Thirty seconds. Stand by. those goats got out of the pen, those Ibex hunting goats. Okay. And it's pretty jumpy and I need to get it back before a coyote gets it. So I'm gonna, I bought a rope today mm. and I'm gonna rope it. You know, when they do the rodeos, you've got a header and a healer. So we've got two four wheelers. I thought you could be the header and I'll be the healer. Well, you're roping it, so you be the header. Okay, well, let's okay. figure this out. And you better get a used rope because the new rope's going to not act like you want it to act. But, I mean, I'm pretty good at this, Danny. Do I look like the kind of guy that could no, be a pretty good roper? Yes. Really? Yes, sir. You believe yes. in me? I believe in Why? Why would you think I could rope? Because you're a country boy at heart. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Y'all need a background. Hank Williams, a country boy, can survive with this. So I stopped by the Westerwear store today and I bought this nylon. It said ranch rope on it, so I figured that was for me. All right. I don't think that I can drive and rope. I mean, well, let's see how it goes. I haven't done this in a long time. Here, jump, Danny. One, two, three. I caught it! I caught it! Oh! 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 That little ass goat. Well, normally he's right here. Have you seen him? All right, there's that mother. This is gonna be hard. I ain't gonna catch that damn thing. Because I can't accelerate and... That's why I need a real horse. God damn it. <laughs> no, it ain't gonna happen. There he goes, hang on, I got another stab at this son of a bitch. Hey, you little bastard. Oh! 
Ah, oh, God damn it. He'll come back. I've heard of goat roping, but this is ridiculous. Hang on, guys. I'll chase him down this way. I want to get one more shot at him, and then I got to go dove hunting. Because that's part of my job. Hunting, drinking beer, and goat roping. And cars. Used cars, tattooed women, hunting, drinking beer, and at the end of the day, rope, go, go dove hunting. Louisiana ain't got shit on this. Oops. We got an issue. Why they put it upside down. You gotta be kidding me. So how should he have stored these cars? If he knew he was gonna put them up for 30, 40, 50 years, how should he have done it? What's the proper way so people can know what to do? Really, there's no way just to, uh, you could drain all the fluids out or you could fill all the fluids up all with the way something, up. but you know, the fuel would still deteriorate and just uh, eventually just turn into goo, you know? So what about the brake lines? Should you drain them out? Absolutely. It's, and the radiator? We're still going to, yeah. Right, just, should do so if we're going to put a cart for 20 years, hell for 10 years, we want to dump all the fuel out, we want to dump all the brake fluid out, we want to dump all the radiator fluid out. Leave the oils in. And then, but the then it'll still, with no fluid in it, you're going to get condensation and moisture and, and it's going to rust. So the best way to do this would be to drive them once a month. It's, it's absolutely, absolutely, it's factory fresh to the nines. They undercoated it at the dealer, I guess. That's what all the black stuff is here. And you know, it's kind of, when you, when you have to take a bolt loose, it's kind of gooey like right along the frame rail. It's kind of sticky still, mm -hmm. but it has no dirt on it. No grime, no nothing. All of this is all, they didn't coat the rear axle or the drive shaft, which, you know, they shouldn't, but obviously it it's a brand new truck. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's all plastic together <laughs> no. so they don't drop a piece of it on the assembly line. Yeah. And normally, after a couple of years, it just falls off. It's, it's still there on both sides. Yeah. In the paint mark? Yeah. Yeah. All the Over there, Bryce. Yeah, all these marks here where they would use that Pink color paint. as it went down the line to make sure it had the cotter pins in it and everything was tight and they would check off on it. So when people get geeky about restoring cars, I've seen them go to the level of this. Yeah, mimicking all to the try to paint mimic spots. Every and the, paint and the, mark and, and the, every fact, yeah. Somebody would put their initials on it somewhere. They'll try to put that all back on it. Right. Keith, you want to do the honor of turning the key and seeing if she'll roll over and put a little spark to us? Is it just ready to turn? I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. She's ready to turn over. Make sure it's in neutral there. It's a three on the tree? Yeah. Take a second to get fuel from that tank up here, but... You ready? Yep. One minute. You get me in a crowd of high class people. And then you act real rude to me. Yeah, but don't be bad, be bad, be bad, be bad. When you love me, I can't get enough. And I want to spread the news that if it feels is a good thing. 30 seconds.
Stand by. It ain't too bad the way you and me talk. I sure am you, then you to do the things you do. I had to do the things you do. Well, I take a lot of Ubers, and a lot of my friends get mad if the Uber driver talks to them too much, but it's the opposite for me. I love talking. <laughs> I think the Uber driver gets mad at me for talking. <laughs> He's like, you want to listen to the radio? Something like that? I'm like, no, turn it off. <laughs> I only got five minutes alone with you in this car. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff I need to tell a stranger, okay? <laughs> I got a lot of conspiracies I need to get off my chest. And <laughs> so I'm not even Ubering anywhere. I'm just, I'm just Ubering to talk, man. We now return. John Clay Wolf Show, the number one weekend morning show in America, broadcasting on air, on air online, anywhere. anywhere you are, with a smartphone and an internet connection, jcwshow.com. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about let's get drunk and ride horses from a moment ago when we were talking about it. Bryce, you can throw the photo back up. And I'm so disappointed in myself for not videoing this scene. We I mean, are, too. I mean, it, you know, the more I started thinking about it, it was very much like the Chappelle skit when when um, Prince, they're all drunk at a bar, and they challenge Charlie Murphy to a game of one-on-one -on -one back at the house. Skins versus blouses, and they eat pancakes afterwards. It was very much a scene like that. And there's Who just four of you, right? Just there's four one, people. One, two, three, four, five. There's one more. I called him Hootie. He's a half-black cowboy that can rope... There's a, Bryce, do you have that video of it? That, this is at midnight, wasted. And a, and a guy's in the corner singing while this is going on. Yeah, sing, a black man <laughs> that's dressed up like Cowboy Troy, looks like Prince, meets Blazing Saddles, and he is singing in this huge rodeo pen, and it's just four of us. <laughs> Dave Matthews Band, right? Dave Matthews songs. It was the damnedest, weirdest thing I've seen. So and I, I don't do drugs. And I was like, maybe everybody else does. <laughs> this guy's got so much money that he has a guy that just kind of <laughs> goes with him. Hey, hey, he's performing right now. That's right. right. They had the PA set up. Right. I mean, come on. A little stage. We got to do this again next Friday. Yeah, the strangest I'll bring y'all with me. Man. This is an interesting you stuff. You Forrest Gump. You just, you <laughs> just run into these people. In. It looked like a rapper set up. Oh, speaking of, that's Backtracks this week. Oh. Ah. I know I drug you, uh, Bob. Uh, I'm bending the guitar string on Bob and backtracks. Because normally we do classic rock sure. artists. Right. Last week we did Taylor Swift in honor of the Super Bowl, and this week is Missy Elliott. What? Do you know who that is? Do I know who that is? <laughs> wow, I, so condescending, <laughs> Mister Booze and Cigarettes. I do know who Missy Elliott is. That's right. On. On this day in 2016, Michelle Obama announced the commission of a new song to promote Let's Girls Learn, her third world educational initiative. This is for my girls. Featured vocals from Missy Elliott. Okay. Anyway, we're going to run two songs backwards, and y'all guess what these two songs are. 800-800-7234, 800-800-RADIO. This is Backtracks, Missy Elliott. We're going to flip it around. Run two Missy Elliott songs backwards, and you guys call it and guess what they are. There's no way you can uh, get this. Hit it. What? That's not backwards. That's forward. That it? No, shush. Oh, I'm up. sorry. Just play it again, Turley. I love it. Okay, cut two. Gigi's already got it, but don't I mean, say it. Yeah. Don't say it, Gigi. I know you got it. I see it. I see your hand in the air. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Like short, like uh, Horseshack and Welcome Back, Carter. Oh, 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 oh! I know, Mr. Carter. Okay, cut one again. <laughs> That's tricky. Mm -hmm. But if you th use your common sense, you'll get it. Cut two. <laughs> 800-800-7234-800-800-RADIO. Mm. The iTunes song from Michelle Obama racked up 50,000 downloads within an hour, generated millions of views on YouTube. Here's Michelle Obama, Missy Carpool Karaoke with James Corden. Yeah, which cut is this? 68. 68. Okay. <laughs> 
Put your hands up high. Bought a car from Missy Elliott in Vegas Idiot. about three years ago, and my friend Ed Bullion of Vinwicky bought her Spiker in Atlanta. Cool. What's cut sixty nine? Of course, they gave Missy a, a solo right. in Carpool Karaoke. <laughs> Why are you was... making that face, Gigi? White people can't sing Missy Elliott? Mm-mm. Y'all <laughs> can sing it. Uh-uh. Y'all can sing it. I'm starting to really miss that guy, man. I hate when a talk show host quits. You remember Ferguson? Yeah, the, of course. The, the late, Craig late show before him. Craig Ferguson him. was just so great. great. Michelle, good morning. You're on the air. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I want to go get drunk and ride horses next time you go. Okay. Okay. It happened very spur of the moment. No pun intended. I, uh, uh, God, right. I, I, I did not have, if I'd have known we'd had these characters with us, I'd have definitely brought pre-K over because he was only 10 minutes away. I just, I'm confused, but I, I do want to do it again. And I think we need to make a listener party out of it. Let's, what age did you lose your virginity? So Let's get drunk and ride horses. Take two. We will and play I could do team sorting. Okay, there you go. Oh boy. You know, I, I was a little drunk. I, I was roping the dummy, and I, I was telling him I wanted to take a run on the team roping horse. Oh, and and he, he was afraid I'd screw up his trained horse. So I wasn't allowed. I guess it was black people only. <laughs> what? I don't know, because one of them wasn't there. Excuse me? Well, you, you do you... all these fun black people things when I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, when did okay, team I see how we're doing. A black I, last night? Okay. Hey, there was black people there. I should have been present. Last night. Last night. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Wasn't he the entertainment, though? I'll be the entertainment, too. One of them Give was. Give me enough drinks. Yeah. But the other guy. Uh, was half and black. Yeah, I mean, he might not be half. He, anyway. I mean, between odd. the two of us, you got a whole black person. What else do you? Black need? people take over every sport. I mean, and now they're going to take right. over rodeo. Yeah, but Hootie's yes, a roper. Are. I mean, Hootie's an actual roper. I mean, he he's a farm oh, the ranch real, guy. The, the real Hootie? Yeah. No, you're you're Hootie. Oh, from the guy. Last night. Yeah. He's a oh, roper. yeah. He was real good. He was great. You know. Okay. And I think the best bull rider in the country is a black guy right now. Guys, that's, that's been a thing, thing for a long time. Where I come from, I mean, everybody, everybody in that part of the world is like a roper. You right, know. Right. Yeah. I like to have sex with horses. Okay, so here's an interesting black fact. Okay. Right? You know the term cowboy? Yes. It came from blacks because they would say, get that cow, boy. Ah. Get it? It's not a joke. It's for real. Black I'm History serious. Month. Yes, there you Brought go. Black you History by... Month. Black fact. Cow... Brought to you by me. Cowboy. Yeah, cowboy. Okay, so I see 100. I see everybody on hold with the Missy Elliott backtrack, and everybody got it correct. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I'm going to take the most random person I can come up with, Jennifer in Pennsylvania. Jen, good morning. You're on the air. Yay! Hi. <laughs> hey. Where in, where, 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 where in Pennsylvania do you be saying? I'm in Easton. Okay, Easton. I know. I've got a friend that lives there. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's a nice little town. Mm-hmm. So what are the, uh, we'll do this real quick. We were doing backtracks a moment ago. We played these two songs backwards, these two songs backwards by Missy Elliott and have people call in to win the prize. Go ahead, Mike, cut one. So Jen, what are the answers? It's work it and get your freak on. We got the there ready go. Show, like but got not <laughs> but not in that order. Yeah, it is in that order. Not in that order? No. Yeah. No. No. So do I, wait, wait, do wait, I wait. Do hang on, hang on. That's the Oh no, one. no, you're right, you're yeah. right. I'm sorry, I'm getting all screwed up. So oh, how okay. <laughs> how did you know the work it one? I don't just the beat. I know that beat. That's from like my high school days. <laughs> <laughs> what made me think of this, Bob, is I was in the car last Saturday in Vegas. And Missy came on in the 
Missy song of Work It where she runs it backwards. Yeah. I was like, we had to do that in backtracks. And it's funny when you play it backwards, you hear her actually say something. Yeah. Wait, here, turn yeah, I didn't up. Know that. Hold on, here we go. So that's the regular front words. Yeah. Right. It this works great for backtrack. And. And knowing nothing about Missy Elliott, I picked up a uh, Missy Elliott favorite, the song Superfly. There you go. And that's backwards. And what does she say there? When uh, you when you run Satan's lyrics backwards, what's he what, what's he communicating? Satan, are you there? Oh, we have to find him here. Hold on. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, you did the Metallica backwards lyrics. And you sure. did some Kiss and some Zeppelin backwards lyrics. Yeah. Did you do Missy's backwards lyrics? Oh, yeah. I've known Missy for years. Yeah, she and Timbaland. Yeah, they, they do some great stuff. Great collaboration there. She and I were talking, just hanging, you know, keeping it real. And uh, don't snicker at me, Turley. That's, that's what we do. Keeping it real, huh? Yeah. And uh, she said, you know, what can I do on this? I said, you know, listen, I've been doing this for years. Like Black Sabbath, Pink Floyd, Queen. I'm going to smoke lyrics. marijuana. I'm going to smoke marijuana. That was me. That was I said, you should put a backwards message in there. And she said, what should it be? I said, just something simple like, look at Missy work it. Look how Missy work it. And she, and she asked me. <laughs> she asked you? <laughs> Wow. You're going straight to hell, ah, She did what? She she asked me, yo, are you for real? Is that really going to work? I said, show. 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 <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. My name's John Clay. Well, if you can go to jcwshow.com if you want to watch this on video and actually see Satan in the studio. Show enough. Be right back. Keep your eyes on my ba bump bum bum You think you can handle this? Cause don't, don't, don't. Take my thumb off and my tail go boom. Hey, it's Gigi from the John Clay Wolf Show. Do you want the most money for your used car? Do you want a hassle free process? Of course you do. Give me the VIN, we'll beat your written CarMax offer, or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is A plus rated by the BBB and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVIN.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. This is it. I showed him the true artistry looks like. The John Clay Wolf Show. If it's more you crave, check out jcwshow.com. Podcast replays, Twitch, socials, live stream, and check out the GMTV Garage YouTube channel.
One minute, one minute. was cool last weekend. I mean, I didn't go to the game, but we hung out at the casinos. Shout out to Sahara Casino. Thank you for the room. What a great place. Completely revamped. Badass joint. Was it a zoo there? It was a zoo. But it wasn't as zoo-ish as you would think. You know, I, we went at the Sahara. They had this steakhouse. It's fancy. It's mm-hmm. really nice. And I called my buddy and that's my neighbor actually is in town and I'm like, Hey, you want to meet us for dinner? He's like, yeah, I'm in an Uber right now. I'm actually heading. I'm, I'm on Vegas, whatever parkway. And, uh, he asked the Uber driver how far away he's like, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. So we're sitting there and I've actually got a picture up on the board of it and video users at jcwshow.com can see it. So this is just such a Vegas deal. Homeboy in the blue shirt there. Yeah. Kyle. Okay. He just, hung, he just showed up with two chicks. <laughs> Those two ah. girls didn't even know their name. Huh. Where'd he get them? I just, he, <laughs> just got I them. I don't know if he bought them. Yeah. I don't know if he met them. I don't think they were hookers. I know they weren't hookers because I talked to them a lot. They were they were conservatives from Portland, and they were explaining to me how that whole Antifa mess when they got the barricade around the building a couple oh, years yeah, ago, yeah. and she said that that was all set up by George Soros, and once it was over, they just all left. Sure. With their actors. With him, right? With who? Did they leave with him? Or with, they just... with Soros? No, no. With I'm talking about these oh, two. Oh, the girls. No, no, no. He had another one that he liked better lined up that he dumped them. So we just fed them and and, and, and they left. So what were they doing in Vegas? They're, well, what's anybody doing in Vegas? Well, I'm saying that they're not working girls. Yeah, they're working. Just a different type. I, mean, well, of I was in Vegas. I wasn't working. No, but you're yeah, not. Yeah, maybe not, they were there to see the Super Bowl. Yeah. You're not too sexist. Hot, sexy girls either. Yeah, they weren't dressed like whores. They they, they were more housewives than whores. Under, 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 undercover whores. Undercover whores by Michael Turley. <laughs> yeah, they, they, you got to be careful in Vegas. Right. You don't know. You just oh, yeah. they, they want to lure you in, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're. Laying down two hundred or whatever, five hundred dollars. I'll be a drink. <laughs> yeah, I'll be a drink. It's like the biggest son of a bitch yeah. says. You know, not all whores are strippers. No, <laughs> but all strippers. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. It was interesting, but he insisted on paying, paying for dinner because he brought these two random girls to dinner. So I got a free dinner out of it. I, I felt like a whore too. I felt like them. And we all got fed for free. You Thanks, Kyle. Do, you didn't do anything. To deserve it. Oh, you yeah. do any gambling? Uh, lost a couple hundred. I'm just not a big gambler. What'd you play? Roulette. But you know what's terrible uh. is they changed the tables up and they put three greens on there. Huh? What the hell is up with that? It's supposed to be zero and, and double, double zero. zero and now triple zero to oh, screw really? up the odds. What was the, uh, was weird. it 25 a uh, table? 25 a table. Yeah. Uh, then it went to 50 Ooh. and then it went to 100 per bet. Ooh. And then it went back to 50 because they didn't have any takers at 100. So after the Super Bowl, they changed the table limits to 100. Uh, try to milk everybody for sure, the Super Bowl. Sure. You got to go to the old Vegas. That's where you get the ten dollar, fifteen dollar tables. What's the old Vegas? Old that Vegas. So twenty five dollars a table. Fremont Street. Uh, yeah, bet, Fremont. Bet, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, go to okay. Fremont. That's where the cheaper. It's smoky in there, but it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> go down the Nugget. Yeah. Did y'all? What y'all think about the halftime show? I thought it was great. I loved it. I'm a fan of Usher though. 
I felt really good, out. man. I felt, I've never heard him or seen him. I felt like Usher stole a page from TLC's book on No Scrubs. Okay. Did you watch it, G? I watched it. I mean, I wasn't really that impressed with it, but it's just me. Why? You know what I mean? I, would, I didn't I get it. what the big deal was. I mean, you had a washed up Usher and Alicia Keys with makeup, and everybody was talking about like how he grabbed her from behind, and it's Usher. I'll you know tell you what, Charlie. Everybody knows about him and his little herpes situation. So, like, when I see him, I'm just like, you used to be somebody, but now you're not. I think he was somebody around the world in that moment, the largest. Um, yeah, he know. was. He was. He was. I just wasn't. I wasn't. I mean, but he didn't write the show to impress me, let's face it. You know I'll tell you mean? why, Terry. So, I'll right. tell you why. Gigi didn't like the show. And I love you, darling. Why? I know. I love you, darling. But Gigi craps all over everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I was happy to see Kansas City win. I was all up in that, okay? Hey, Christensen, Mahomes' quarterback coach that was on earlier, he texted mm -hmm. me. Um, because I was asking him, I said, get, get Patrick to call in and bust on my balls about making fun of his voice like Kermit the Frog. And he mm -hmm. said that he couldn't get a hold of him. But um, I, I said, I also wanted to ask Mahomes about the last seconds of the game, what the plan was sure. in overtime. Had they made that pass and got hung up at the one-yard line, then they would have run out of time. Because it was, it was six seconds left when he threw that pass. Yeah, They'd have to get the timeout in. I but, mean, that's so what I did not know, and Jeff communicated back to me, I'll read it. He said it didn't matter. The time didn't matter because in overtime rules, the team has time to finish their possession. Correct. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, that's the new. That's part of the new rules with it. That's that's why they they were running the clock down at the last what six seconds or something. But I thought they did have to get a timeout in though. So no matter what, yeah, they they're did. gonna have to. Even if it was zero zero time, they still get to play. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They would have had a chance to finish their finish, finish the their series, their possession. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. That makes sense. Even that's with right. no, even with no time left. So that's mm -hmm. why they were just letting the clock go because they knew they were going to have one more down, basically, yeah. no matter what. One I more know. play. Exactly. So did are you and I? Did we just scrub out for the year? Well, all these bets. I mean, yeah, kind of. I still, <laughs> now I owe you money. So how much? Um, one hundred and twenty-five. It just flipped because it. I, I pushed crack. <laughs> I pushed. I pushed the line too far. I right. was thinking I was really confident in the Chiefs. I thought six points was going to do it, and they won by four, so or whatever, three points. So um, we can, as any good degenerate would do, is we can roll that money mm -hmm. to the NBA. <laughs> okay, I'm down. <laughs> Once the season starts going. next week, or not uh, starts, but the second half of the season goes next week because they're in the All Star break right now. Okay, I'm That's, down. All right. I'll take the Mavs. It's, whatever the line is. Uh, Every game, you're going to take the Mavs, you're saying. I went to the Lakers game um, while I was in LA last week, and we watched them versus the Nuggets, and Lakers just beat the hell out of them. It was packed, too. Is that just like a movie star thing? You're looking around going, oh, there's Jack Nicholson. Adam there's Sandler was Sad, there. Will Ferrell was there. They had God. them up on the big screen. Yeah, it's a pretty movie story. Do they all sit on, of course, they all sit on the floor. Yes, of course. Oh, yeah, Buffy. Yes. Did, was, you, did you run into anybody in Vegas besides Ice Spice? Uh, the dude from Shark Tank, the Which little one? itty bitty Canadian, not Mister Wonderful, but the other other one. guy, the little short guy, the the the, the, the nicest one. Yep, uh, he know. is tiny. Yeah, little he tiny. looks tiny. He might weigh a buck oh five. Oh my god, that's wow. small. One twenty tops. Jeez. I had no idea. He kind of looked like Regis Philbin in person. <laughs> yeah, I get it. What's his name? I don't know. He's the little guy. <laughs> He's the little guy. I, I was sitting there next to him at the airport. Mr. And Wonderful's the ball guy, right? Yeah, Mr. Wonderful's the ball. But I was like, I know you, man. What, are, are you a singer? He's like, no. I said, Shark Tank. He said, yes. I was like, okay. I, got, I thought he was Frankie Valley for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> 800 800 800-800-800-RADIO. 800 Top of the hour. Remember, if we lose you here, go to jcwshow.com and... You can stream us for the next hour. Houston and Dallas are now carrying at the next hour, so we'll be we'll, we can we'll stay on the buzz. We'll stay on 92.5. And there's several others that are, and I think we're going to start doing the next an extra hour in LA also, but that's still in the works. We'll be right back. Listen what I say. 
Hey, it's Gigi from the John Clay Wolf Show. Do you want the most money for your used car? Do you want a hassle-free process? Of course you do. Give me the VIN, we'll beat your written CarMax offer, or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give me the VIN is A-plus rated by the BBB and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVIN.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVIN.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. And we'll be back with more of the John Clay Wolf Show right after this. Look at what I say. The more I see, the less I know. Green crack with three stacks of greenbacks. Weed wrapped tight like some cold label Fritos. To codeine with three hoes, sucking on me like mosquitoes. Flaming hot Fritos, cranberry ginger ale. I'm counting major mail on my way to make a sale. I, I fall, I stun, I'm swinging down the app. I hit the mall, buy all that I can grab. I smoke, I swear, I'm swinging on the curb. I pop my trunk in the making a dessert. I fall, and I'm always gonna fall. I fall, and I'm always gonna fall. I Like the end of the subway line, I got chips 
lettuce and spinach, broccoli, pickles, blue cheese, baby, no pennies, no nickels, sharper than a sickle slice in the gut, chopping on blades, young white king tut, Egyptian bitches be filing my nails, 1,000 pounds, put it down on the scale, I, I fall, I stun, I'm swinging down the air, I hit the mall, buy all that I can grab, I smoke, I swerve, I'm swinging on the curb, I pop my trunk in the making they sir, I fall, One minute, one minute. Thirty seconds, stand by. Don't you know about the new fashion, honey? All you need a look at a whole lot of money. It's the next phase, new wave, dance craze. Anyways, it's still rock and roll to me. Everybody's talking about the new sound, funny, but it's still rock and roll to me. Legendary baller DJ Pre-K of the John Clay Wolf Show is shooting a brand new music video, and he needs bitches. Oh, nice. Do you or anybody you know want to be the hottest video vixen in the world? Now's your chance. We're looking for twerk contest champions, big booty boppers, bust downs, thoughts, skip, scap, scallywags, and straight up freaks. What's up? I'm DJ Pre-K, and I want you to be in my new video. It's going down March 1st, Friday, at the W6 Ranch. Submit your pictures, videos, or OnlyFans links now. Right. I don't care if you got one arm, one leg, or half a brain. If you can shake that thing, I want you in the frame. Funky dog-headed bitches need not apply. Go to johnclaywolf.com for more details. Broadcasting live from the Wolf Radio Studios, it's time for the John Clay Wolf Show. Hit him up now. 800-800-RADIO. Check out all the mayhem online. Podcast replay. YouTube channel. Twitch. Socials. Live stream. All at jcwshow.com. Was Little John in the halftime performance last week? Yeah! What? Man Chappelle just made that guy famous. Yeah. Straight I mean, up. he was pretty famous on his own, too. I don't think so. He was notable. He was said. I mean, even I knew who Little John was, man. What? What? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sir, would you like to buy a ticket? Would you like to buy a ticket? What? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, after seeing Usher, not Usher, but um, Ludacris come out with the big 70s fro. Luda. It made me wonder, did he ever get that bitch to move out the way? <laughs> 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 That's a terrible dad joke right there. <laughs> Good lord. Is she still in the way? Move. I don't know. We Get just don't out know. Of so Beyonce <laughs> is catching on to the urban cowboy slash Yellowstone movement? Yeah, remember the old song Alan Jackson had called Gone Country? It was yeah. about pop people going country. Well, she has gone country. After her Super Bowl ad for Verizon aired, she announced a country album coming up March 29th, and she has released the first two songs. We've got clips of both. One of them is called Texas Hold'em, 11.1. 
This ain't Texas. Ain't no holding. Hey, lay our cards down, 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 down. Awesome. And I'll be damned if I can't slow dance with you. Come pour some sugar on me, honey, too. It's a real live boogie and a real live hold down. Don't be a bitch, come take it to the floor. And I'll be now. damned if I cannot dance with you. Come pour some liquor on me, honey, too. It's a real live boogie and a real live hold down. Don't be a bitch, come take it to the floor. Now. They know how to make hits. Whoever they is, whoever her, in her production crew is, I mean, that's a hit. It's going to be a big it's hit. It's a hit yeah. song. The other one's called 16 Carriages, 11.2. Underpaid and overwhelmed. I might cook clean, but still won't cook. Fake country. No. God. Only God knows, only God knows, only God knows. Gospel. Sixteen carriages. Closer to gospel, but it's country. The other one was more country than this one. Yeah. G, are you a Beyonce fan? I like a lot of her music. You know what I mean? Some of it I like, some of it I don't. I'm not a fan of this particular sound. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It just kind of sounds... I don't know. Her, she has a beautiful voice, but I think this is just not the right kind of thing for her voice. It just sounds really heavy, like, you know... Here she goes. She's kind of bordering on that Oprah voice. You know, the Oprah slave voice. You know uh, what I mean? No, so. how does the Oprah slave voice go? Now y'all know. Because all my life I had to fight. And that's kind of what it sounds like to me. So I will not be bumping this in the ride. A, a little more Oprah. Wait, could you, is this is this from the color purple? Yeah, everyone remembers that, right? What must I do? What must I do? Beat her. Okay. <laughs> Two words. Beat her. I love right? those harp. Oh, Lord knows I, I do. Me. Lord knows I do. And then there's somebody get my kids. Right? <laughs> She hears that from this. this ain't Texas. Ain't no holding. Oh, man, it's I... a good song, but you hear it, right? I do. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just the way her voice works. It's like yours sounds like a sex operator. Well, you know, send people my way, please. <laughs> Press six for more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Press star four four to just jump over to my OnlyFans. If you've been a bad boy. <laughs> do it come on how bad are you how many spankings do you need we need her to redo the uh intro at give me the vin on the uh, answering system yes and she's gonna sound like this how freaky can we get <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you want to sell you your get car lots of phone call yeah we will would you like to sell your car to give me? it to me Give it to me, baby. I think, boom, 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 that's right. Boom, boom, boom. I think we could produce this next week, right, Pre-K? Have her Gigi do it. Yeah, sure yeah, we enough. can do Let's it. Let's make a cut. It's fun. Just like the cut. You remember when she did this here? The bounce mix. Oh yeah. How freaky can we get? Mm-hmm. Is this pre K's hit? Yeah. Yeah, that's his hit. Bounce mix with Gigi. Yeah, this is where I, I sampled Gigi on the hook. Much love, Aww. Gigi. You gave it that sex appeal it needed. Okay. Give it to me, baby. That's right. <laughs> Those cowboys me. last night, if that's what you call them, look like Rick James meets Dave Chappelle meets Prince. <laughs> The ones you hung out with, the Cowboys. Yeah. Let's get okay. drunk and ride Two horses. 800-800-7234. 800-800-RADIO is the call in number. Good morning, everybody. If you missed earlier in the show, you can always grab it on the flip at jcwshow.com where the video cast and the audio-only podcast goes up, and it's also going right now the live video. Uh, Kanye making a fool of himself in public again. What do he do? Cut. Cut, cut 17. He walked yes. to the airport basically with his wife. They were walking to the airport. He posted this video just to let you, you little people, know how he feels about people making comments about him posting pictures of his wife. Cut number 17. Yo, I just want to tell everybody I posted my wife three times on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm saying is I delivered the album. Then people still in my comments talking about why are you posting your wife? Because she make me happy. That's why y'all happy with the music, because I'm happy. You understand? So don't ever say nothing negative. If you don't like my page and don't like what I'm posting, go f*** yourself. Ooh. Seriously. 
Leave me, leave the king alone. The king. I don't care, bro. I'm going to post my wife as much as I want. Go post your wife on your Instagram. By the way, his wife walks by in a braless, skin tight white romper while this is going on. Hey! <laughs> now, one wonders how, how could we make that better? I don't know. Is there a way to make that better? Uh, let's see. Oh, with the help of uh, Charlie Wright and the Watts, 103rd Street Rhythm Band, possibly. Oh. Cut number 17.2. So I just want to tell everybody I posted my wife three times on purpose. On purpose. You understand? If you don't like my page and don't like what I'm posting, go f*** yourself. Express yourself. Seriously. Leave the king alone. Go f*** yourself. Express yourself. I don't care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Express yourself. That is a lot better. You know he's got I gotta, love that. I, I love it. Will you play it again? I was really hoping y'all would like that. I just want to tell everybody I posted my wife three times on purpose. On purpose. You understand? If you don't like my page and don't like what I'm posting, go f*** yourself. Express yourself. Seriously. Leave the king alone. Go f*** yourself. Express yourself. I don't care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Express yourself. You know, we were talking about Kanye last week, and why is he out in the news and stuff? He right. dropped an album. That's why. Oh, that's why. He's well, that's doing... why he's doing all this social media crap. And so, so yeah. that big setup at the airport where he grabs that girl's yep. phone. That whole thing's a setup to get him radio play. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah, he's he's certainly helps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It certainly Did helps. Did you hear in golf news that the uh, waste management tournament, tournament was shut down last week? Well, they had to cut beer sales because got, stuff got a little rowdy out there. Where was this? So they have a Phoenix. deal like Happy Gilmore. Okay. And it's the Phoenix Open, and it's called Waste Management because that's the sponsor. Oh. And they heckle, and they get drunk, and they throw beer, and it's so like a happy allowed Gilmore. allowed to do yes, that. Yes, on a real pro tour, and like, it's encouraged. <laughs> but it's, got, it's gotten so much steam and gotten so out of hand. Last week, they cut the liquor off at like noon. Yeah, oh. there was. I mean, there's folks just... Terrific. laid out right on the side there's actually some people sitting in a chair just urinating i mean it was the, the scene was bad Ew. really bad oh yeah oh. but it's a fun golf event because if, you, if you've been to a golf event right very yes oh many yeah. many you can't really do anything no, you just kind of like yeah the old signs that say be quiet yeah but you can yell in a backswing at this one i mean it's it's rowdy as hell <laughs> yeah that's awesome oh yeah have y'all ever seen that golf pro guy on twitter and facebook love him He's pretty funny. Love him. It's a satire like the Onion kind of uh, channel about golf clubs. Yeah. Hit, and, a little little uh, light misogyny in each and every the, post. The Twitter guy, golf, you mean club pro guy? Club pro guy. He's a fictional Mexican mini tour legend, best-selling author and ambassador to what he call ambassador to what he calls the Second Hole Foundation. Here he is on the latest way to ensure that the most qualified female members of his club are able to secure a good tea time. Cut number seven, uh, sixteen, Mike. Ever since the post-COVID golf boom, it's been almost impossible for many of our members here at the club to get a tea time. We have created a point system that will allow the more deserving members here at the club the ability to easily get a tea time. Now, the female members are a little trickier because they historically don't play as many rounds. So each female member has been pre-assigned an appearance rating from 1 to 10, as well as a body weight component using 130 pounds as a baseline mean. So, for example, Shelby Clayman is a 6 out of 10 who weighs 142 pounds and has been at the club nine years. Nine minus her 28 index is negative 19, plus six for looks, minus 12 for being 12 pounds over the baseline weight is a total of negative 25 points. Heidi's a nine out of 10 on looks who carries a 40 index and weighs eight pounds under the mean weight, Jeez. bringing the group total up to 57. Not sexist at all. Look at, look at Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but, but it's did, like, did guys... we quit it? <laughs> no, that's it. That's the end oh, of the it cut. didn't get yeah. to the total. Uh, the punchline at the end of it was like, "There's no." Oh, we missed the punchline. I don't know. What, uh, what was the punchline? The punchline was I... just taking the math and saying, "If you have this gal with you, there's no way you're ever going to get to play." <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, and if she's if she's big and less than a say a five, right, you're never going to get a tea time. Right. So find a new. Uh, yeah, because look at you. You'll do better with the good looking one. 800-800-7234-800-8... I don't play golf. 800-800-7234-800-8...
800 radio. <laughs> the lightning round's up next where we're going to bid the cars on the radio right here for America's Best Car Buyer. Give me the V-I-N. Give me the VIN. Give me the VIN. Give me the VIN. Dot com. Call in now. 800-800-7234. Year, make, model, miles. Average, rough, or clean. During this music break, call in right now. We'll load you up and we'll take you to there in just a minute. And don't forget social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and even X. John K. Wolf Show coming right back. It's Gigi from the John Clay Wolf Show. Do you want the most money for your used car? Do you want a hassle-free process? Of course you do. Give Me the Van will beat your written CarMax offer or write you a check for 100 bucks. It's that simple. Give Me the Van is A-plus rated by the BBB and thousands of online reviews. Get an instant cash offer and the most money for your used car right now at GiveMeTheVin.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your eyes. Hey, for all things Gimme the Vin, check out jcwshow.com.
callers, hang tight. Uh, we'll be back here in a minute. Make sure you're off Bluetooth and radios down. Uh, off Bluetooth, radios down. Back in a minute. Five seconds, stand by. I've got a couple of weird cars here. I'm going to bid real quick. Sprinkle in Florida, a 95 Mazda Miata with 115,000 miles on it? No, 115,000 miles, yes. But uh, the new transmission, I'm uh, not sorry, uh, new, new uh, rebuilt transmission and rebuilt engine. Is the paint so faded? Like another. A um, little bit. Uh, Mo- uh, no, most of no, them are. It, it hasn't been buffed. It's okay. No, no rust. Good. Two grand, twenty five hundred. Go, go to give me the VIN. I'll load it up. Carl in Dallas. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, thank you for answering the phone. Yes. I have been trying to all for about an hour. You say the phone number so fast. I've been sitting outside trying to get it. Ah. Um, I've been wanting your expertise to know. Um, 93 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome with 70. Right? Yeah. And what is worth? Yes. Everything's got new tires, uh, new air conditioning. Um, what was that other? Uh, one of the hoses when I had it, the oil changed. The guy said one of your transmission, whatever it is, hose was leaking. Mm-hmm. Um, put new those on, uh, new belts. You know, it's uh, the ga- the car has never been below half a tank of gas. I don't know why, but my mom was a stickler on that. Um, we she had a T Bird, and we were scared of her getting hit and, and that little thing. So I bought her this Cadillac, um, and supposedly it was so advanced. Uh, it, they even uh, the San Diego Union even had a piece in the newspaper about it. Uh, okay. So and, it's a 93 uh, it's Cadillac like Fleetwood Brome with 70. Yes, 70, uh, 70,000, maybe 71. I really haven't. Uh, I know I put 4,000 on it uh, a couple months ago when I went out to her funeral. But, um, yeah, everything. $1,500. is new, but it, the problem is it's got this automatic thing. And uh, you set the temperature in the car, $1, and that's dollars. it. Yeah, if it, how much? Fifteen hundred. Uh, uh, did you say one five? Yes, sir. Zero zero. Yes, sir. Oh no, yeah, no. I've been offered for a trade in more than that, but I didn't want to trade it in. I don't like those uh, son of a bitch truck. What what did they and, offer? What did they offer you on trade in? Uh, fifteen hundred. Yeah, thousand. 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 Yeah, the car is brand new. I mean, it's a brand new car. But and, it's a 93 uh, Cadillac DeVille with a North Star in it, and it's 1500 I mean, are you sure they didn't offer you 1500 No, no, because I went to Sewell Cadillac, and uh, uh, he got a manager, another guy, another guy, and this guy came out told me uh, that classic 
is, I think it's like one of the last Fleetwoods or something. You know, things like 22 foot long. It's huge. And uh, it's got the big engine in it. Um, everything. Uh, it's, it's amazing. You push a button and the seat goes up and down and sideways. Um, you know, um, but anyway... Uh, I'm looking. I was looking for like a collector. Uh, he said the car was worth thirty-three thousand uh, dollars. I'm a collector. I'll get fifteen hundred. Yeah, and you offered fifteen hundred, but I think that that's I, all it's worth no, to it, you would be like fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that somebody's pulling your leg, or you misunderstood them because I've bought and sold plenty of old Cadillacs. I don't care how nice they are. This is not in collector mode. It's just a '93 Deville and. Or Fleetwood, and it's 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 you know fifteen hundred two grand. That's what it's worth. If anybody offered you fifteen thousand of any kind of trade, cocaine, strippers, um, you know, homes, yeah, anything, wanted, you, uh, you need to do that. To buy this forty five thousand dollar truck. Yeah, and then buy it. Take the fifteen, 15 grand on the Cadillac. And I really don't like those Cadillac trucks. Well, for fifteen um, grand trade in, you need to like them because that's crazy talk. Carl, thank you for calling. My name's John Clay Wolf. Buy cars on the radio. Be right back. The John Clay Wolf Show. The John Clay Wolf Show. No one knew where he came from. But everybody wanted what he was selling. Check out the podcast. He was just some hillbilly who got on a plane and then just landed somewhere. Please beware. The voice in your head is a threat. JCWshow.com or JohnClayWolf.com.
Stand by. No one in this room will ever be canceled. One person believes me. We're good. No one here. Only successful people get canceled. What would they take from us? Your Coles cash? Your Spirit Airlines points? Canceling is when us normals take the successfuls down from the heavens and make them live our lives. Your life is the most horrific thing that could ever happen <laughs> to Kim Kardashian. Yo, we're back to the John Clay Wolf Show. Taking over your radio every Saturday morning. Hit him up, 800-800-RADIO. And check out the podcast at jcwshow.com. The John Clay Wolf Show. Are we doing Jeopardy? Is it that time? It is that time. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. You're just going to mm-hmm. wind up like a Yeah, you freak. damn right I am. Okay? Good morning, everybody. It's time for Gigi to freak out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I can't get freaky with it, so I got to freak out. I feel like an <laughs> episode that? of The Wire when Omar starts walking down okay. the street whistling. Omar! It's Omar! Have y'all seen okay. Gazelda? Gazelda? Man, that's yes. great. What is that? Oh is my it good? God. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. It's the best show I've watched in years. Oh, is that that? Um, Sophia's, uh, Sophia's Vegeta, oh, isn't it? Yeah. As the drug queen. Is it good? Oh. oh I gotta watch it then. It is, it is definitely a binger. Yeah, like, I definitely do. You'll wind up watching it for two and three hours a night to try to knock Ooh. it down. It's really good. When you're done with that, it'll suggest Brother's Son. Yeah. It's about the Asian mafia. Is it good? So, oh, it's really good too. Okay. Yeah. Oh That's yeah, Tokyo next. Vice just came yeah. on Max too, and it's really good. Crime shows. So we are ding plenty. ding ding is the ding. rule. The ding. first person to say ding 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 or sound off ding 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 with their sounder thing. Okay. Let's roll. If you're ready, it's time to test the intellect and pop culture IQ of our own John Clay Wolf show crew. That's John. J D Ryan Turley is well, you're just you're just kind of a I'm just playing this referee, right? Yeah. DJ pre is in the background back there somewhere. Want to hear our categories? Here we go. Yes. Category one is motor tunes, rock bands named after famous automobiles and their creators. And category two, films with substances, uh-huh. movies that feature quite a bit of uh, illicit drug usage. Here's our first question. This American group from Champaign, Illinois, was named for the 1915 light motor truck designed by Ransom Eli Olds and hit the charts with songs like Riding the Storm Out and I Can't ding, Fight ding, This ding. Feeling. John. Ario Speedwagon. It is what Ario is Speedwagon. Speed, who is Ario Speedwagon? Very good. All right. Question two. Taking its name from a, quote, badass race car, first introduced by the Italian manufacturer Di Tommaso in 1971, this Texas hard rock band was formed by brothers Vinnie Paul and Dimebag ding, ding, Daryl. Ding, ding, ding. John? Who is Pantera? Very good. Wow. Wow, you're just Carman. mopping her up here. Carman, I swear I yeah. didn't show him the oh questions, boy. G. I swear I didn't show him the questions. Yeah, whatever. And number three, name for the luxury Ford Coupe marketed since 1955. This blues rock band was co-founded by Stevie Ray Vaughan's older brother, Jimmy Ray, and scored big in the 80s with hits like Tough Enough and Wrap It Up. Ding, 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 ding. John. Who are the fabulous Thunderbirds? Wow, that's correct. Jeez. Wow, that's wonderful. Yay! <laughs> this is, this is, this white people answering rich. white people questions, whatever. I swear I didn't show them the questions. Yeah, dude. okay, okay. Here yeah. comes category two. This 80s high school drama featured Sean Penn in his breakout role as a pot smoking surfer named Ding, Jeff ding, Spicoli. ding, ding. What is or who is, what is Fast Times at Ridgemont High? That's correct. I mean, this is not even really even Jeez, a game it's a walk. here. Yeah. He's yeah, on. Mopping y'all's just... ass up. He's yeah, on. let's just ask him questions that he already knows. Yay. <laughs> sore loser. Well, it is Jeopardy, though. Question two. Though not an immediate box office hit, this now classic American film will always be most remembered for the image of Al Pacino sitting in a de- 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 at a desk covered with a mountain of ding, cocaine. Ding, ding, ding. Gigi? What is Scarface? That is correct. Hey, look at that. She She's got so one. Happy. John Never. gave that Whatever. to you, too. John, like, yeah, literally. Yeah, I know. Let's put, let's put one ethnic question in so she can at least get a point. You're only half Thanks. black. Thanks. Well, then and I Puerto get a Puerto Rican doesn't point. count. No. That question's not ethnic, man. 
And question three, this film features one of the most suspenseful scenes in modern movie history when John Travolta saves Uma Thurman from ding, overdosing. Ding, 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 what is Pulp Fiction? As a correct job. We, hey, have, a we have a winner. We yeah, have Gigi, a winner. I'm, that was fast. What, what I'm doing here today, darling, yeah. is showing you who your daddy is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Spank me, Daddy. Kind of well, I did. You've been begging. Now. Spank be me, Daddy. daddy. Spank so I did. Spank me, Daddy. Okay. Spank me harder. <laughs> and choke me, too. Okay. okay. I mean, right. Wow. I, I let you have one just so you get another breath. Ooh, we we okay. didn't have to go to Bronos questions or anything. That's no, awesome. That Let's do the bonus question. questions. You want to? Just for fun. Okay. Call them. Well, you she can call them doubles spanked. if you want. She wants to be spanked harder. If she gets this one, do you need to let her win? Nah. She, no. No. <laughs> no. After last week? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. We'll never use these again. <laughs> Naming themselves after the inventor of modern farming implements, which would be the precursor to modern tractors and combines, this group would place themselves atop the very short list of English flute rock bands. That's a tough one. Hang on. One more time? I got confused in the damn description. Naming, tractors and what? Naming themselves after the inventor of modern farming implements, which would be the precursor to modern tractors and combines, this group would place themselves atop the very short list of English flute rock bands. Who, ding, 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 who is Jethro Tull? That's correct. There we go. Wow. One more like, just showing what off. What is that? Like, yeah, what is that? <laughs> that wasn't even necessary. Jethro Tull? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wow. just getting that question to John going and dancing in the end zone real quick, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Spiking that ball. It and is, one more. It is the worst band of all time. Johnny Depp was critically acclaimed for his role as real-life drug magnate George Young in this classic movie from 2001. Ding, 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 ding. What John, is blow? That is correct. I mean, this is this. Mm-hmm. Are we like, is the game still playing? Sing for it, what? G. This is this is very soulish music. Sitting on the hog bench. I live girls with bad intentions. That's Jethro Tull. It's really weird. Where's very the flute at? Weird. Gigi, do you want to ask some questions? I'll beat you on those too. <laughs> probably so. Probably. I don't even know who this is. No, just just ask some. Just, just hit me with a Jeopardy question you think I can't get. That's that's gettable. That's doable. See, she feels better okay. already. It can be about anything. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Then my mind goes blank. Damn. Damn, girl. Okay. Okay. Damn. No. 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 Okay. Um. Who is? Oh, I don't have the list with me. Damn it. Okay. You can't cheat. Okay. I can cheat? No, you can't okay. cheat, right? Oh, I can't cheat? No, I can't cheat. In three, um, two, one. Oh, Gigi's gone. <laughs> I won wow. that one, too. Thanks Aww. for playing the home game. I mean, wait, just hit me with something. You want to do black things, and I'm a white guy. Okay, just th- th- you're a soul. white guy. Yeah, throw me some soul. Okay. Okay, what is, who is, I can't even think of anything. I'm so uh, who is a dumb blonde in L.A. on the I end know, of a right? microphone? What is Gigi I know, drumming? Right? Yeah, she's I know, I'm way. still suffering from that ass whooping. Hey, Gigi, <laughs> in the Peanuts cartoons, where was the dog Snoopy's favorite place to take a nap? On top of the doghouse. That's right. Yay! That's where you live. Yay! 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 And that's you, what Linus you. called doggy style nap. Oh. Washington store clerk thwarts robbery with a bigger knife. Is this a screamer? No, he's actually very cool. I don't know if I can pronounce his name. JD, you want to take a shot at this guy? Let's see here. It's a store clerk in Washington state defended himself from a would be burglar who pulled a knife on him. That's not a knife, that's a knife. Uh, by pulling out an even bigger knife on the suspect, here's the owner of the store, Knife Quatamin. Cut number 13. And he says, hey, listen, this is a holdup. I said, okay. Why well, don't think so, buddy? And he jumped back there and fell down. I hold this on him. First time I ever touch it. <laughs> I just want to scare him. I don't want to hurt him. Scared him with a knife, basically. New Jersey toddler has very noticeable New Jersey accent cut yeah, two 14. Years old. Two, two years, years old. Let's hear yeah, this. You ready, Gia? Say chocolate. Chocolate. Say coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Say water. Water. <laughs> Say talk. Talk. Say walk. Walk. 
Say call. Call. Say fall. Fall. Say drawer. Draw. Chalk. Chalk. This Illinois mayor is a mad black woman, cut 23. Uh-oh. Because y'all got false narratives out there, and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. She watched Jeopardy. All the stuff that y'all did to get people to Shut come up. to our community, <laughs> to just diss and down our community. Shame on y'all. Y'all got prostitute rings. Y'all got car rings on y'all block. Dogs, stolen dogs on your block. But stolen you live dogs. here. Y'all stuck with the nonsense. Y'all do pay to play. But yet, y'all point fingers at other people. Stop. I'm sick of it. We'll be back. <laughs> Read more of the John Clay Wolf Show after this song. The call in number is 800 800 Radio. And the sponsor of this show is Give Me the Vin. Give me the Vin. Give me the Vin. Give me the Vin.com. Gordon Boswell Flowers also sponsors the show. And you can get a link to Gordon Boswell's around the corner or across the country at jcwshow.com, where the podcast is and the video stream and all that good stuff. If you want to sell your car, go to give me the vin.com. If give me the Vin does not beat a CarMax offer, a written CarMax offer, a non photoshopped written CarMax offer, we'll send you a check for 100 bucks. Check out the website for podcasts, socials, and the GMTV Garage YouTube channel. Go to jcwshow.com. The John Clay Wolf Show.
One minute, one minute. Here we go. And now we return to the John Clay Wolf Show, presented by GiveMeTheVid.com. Call John, toll free, cheap bastards, 1-800-800-RADIO. Hey, the largest radio show and fastest growing podcast, <laughs> The John Clay Wolf Show. Go to jcwshow.com or johnclaywolf.com. Gigi, what is the name of this band? And a free tip is they are twin sisters, and one of them was with the band The Pixies. What? Who is the Breeders? <laughs> That's what you need to be. I wow. was a breeder. <laughs> You've got the trophies to prove it. 800-800-7234-800-800 radio. Speaking of Gigi, we need to do letters to Gigi. Oh, goody. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. We, we don't have an open, open for that, still, do we? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Dear Gigi, my husband and I have a three-month-old son, and he's been 100% formula-fed since birth. I was not capable of breastfeeding because my son couldn't take hold because I have a disorder called mammary. This is a real thing, so don't make fun of me. Tetus. <laughs> What? Mammary Titus, which means they're larger than normal. My husband's sister keeps mentioning how good it is for the baby to be breastfed, and I keep saying stop talking about it because I can't do it. Gigi, am I being oversensitive because I can't breastfeed, or should my sister-in-law just shut up? I think your sister-in-law should shut up. Martha Martin of Huntington Beach, California. What, what is it called again? It's called Mammary. Mammary this is a Mammary real thing. T e a t i t s. Mammary titus. Titus. And it basically the means the nipples are larger than normal, so the baby cannot get a hold of them. <laughs> so, and plus, it hurts to breastfeed. It hurts. Did you do it? So you know, if her if her sister needs to, her sister-in-law needs to be quiet. But it's Hush. so healthy for the baby. Okay, good. Go find a baby and breastfeed it then. <laughs> Just pick right? up a baby? Did you breastfeed? I did. You know what? My last baby. Right. Oh, my gosh. What? I did, and I did it for a long time, too. Right, she just kind of—it was through no fault of mine. She just kind of leaned over and latched on, and I was amazed, like, "Wow, look at this!" Right? Huh? And yeah, she did, and I—I I was so proud of her. And it was like our bonding way and stuff. She was like, I think maybe two when I finally stopped. But I used to go to the barber shop with my sons, yeah. right? And then she would start rooting around, and I would pretend like I was gonna just whoop it out right there in the barber shop, mm -hmm. and the barber would always go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, feed that baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your boobs. Long time. She did it a That's long right. time. The first time that girl stayed out all night, she was 31. I know, right? Shut up. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. That was my last child. So anyways, but yeah, I did breastfeed. It was cool. It was nice. I missed that. What's next? Bros at a stone? Yes. Bros at a stone. Oh, boy. We have pre-K you here. Ooh, yes, DJ Pre-K. Uh, okay. What's cracking? You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, we got a special edition of Rosetta Stone today because uh, we actually got some uh, examples from, you know, rap uh -huh. songs and everything that I'm actually, you know, me and Charlie going to play for y'all. And uh, this week's Rosetta Stone hip-hop word of the week is Guapanese. Any of y'all feel familiar with Guapanese? Guapanese. Guapanese. Yeah. Y'all don't speak Guapanese? <laughs> Guapanese. That's a uh, Japanese immigrant some money. from Guam. Right? Well, let's, uh, let's play some examples. 
All okay. right, hold on. Let me pull these up. Okay. If, if you got them, Terry. Yep, yep. Here we go. Here's one. Speaking Guabanese when I'm moving out in France. Gravy on the speakers. Now he's thought he's trying to prance. That's a young gravy. We're getting y'all caught up so you can talk to your grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speak Guapanese with your grandkids. They'll know what you're talking about. And this is another here. Yeah, speaking Guapanese, I know he cannot understand me. Speaking Guapanese? Yeah. Turning Japanese, I think I'm turning, turning Japanese. Japanese. I really I think really so. I really think so. <laughs> turning Guapanese. <laughs> I'm turning Guapanese. I'm turning Guapanese. <laughs> I don't... I'm confused, dude. So that's all Guap about is money. Turning Guapanese. Whoa, wait, what? What did she say? I said oh. guap is money, right? Yeah. So you speaking about money. Okay, Gigi. Oh, Gigi okay. speaks guapanese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. talking them dollars, baby. <laughs> right on. That's right. How is money guap? Mm-hmm. Guap, guala, skrilla, all that. Huh? How? Okay. Squala? Look, you're asking the wrong guy. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any guap. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get all this pre-K? What's that? Where do you get this stuff? Um, you know, like uh, Urban Dictionary, Rap Dictionaries, you know, sometimes Turley, Turley's in the streets too, more than y'all think. Sometimes he'll just be like, hey man, I got a word for you. Because <laughs> I'll hear it like this song. Speaking Guabanese when I'm moving out. And I didn't know what the hell yeah, it yeah, meant. And so I'd send it to pre and he's like, oh, that means money. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Money talk. Gigi, do you mm-hmm. subscribe to Ebony or Jet? I used to a long time ago. You know what I mean? And everybody had, everybody went to the barber shops where they had the old jets from 1973 with the Jet Beauty of the Week missing. Right. Yeah. Right. That was back in the day. That's the way back track. That's come. I know you have a black soul. Pre-K didn't even you know what a, Jet is. Mm-hmm. You got a black soul. Pre-K, do you know what Jet is? I do know what Jet is. Jet was a little bit before my time. I, I, uh, mm-hmm. I subscribed to the Source magazine. What yeah, the whatever. That? Right. It it's, was, not, it's, no, it's not even on upstairs, par with like Jet. Right. Mm-mm. Shut up, Pre-K. Or Ebony. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Wow. Because I'm an Ebony lovely, right? Absolutely. Okay. I, I, I had fr- fun with Dean McDermott last week at the KLS studio. He seemed was really fun. cool. He really fit on this show, too. Mm-hmm. Really? I mean, he just slid right in. Yeah. I thought about having um, Ty Murray come on today, but he lives pretty close. Yeah. That For those of y'all who don't know, he like won the world. He's a big deal. He's the probably the most celebrated cowboy of all Who cowboys. got called Bob last night? He goes, oh, he's out there with Ty Murray. I went, the, the Ty Murray? But what's he doing? What's John doing? It's funny. You know, I just didn't think that much about it. I was more excited about having a guy to ride with because he's so into mm-hmm. dirt bikes. Yeah. And, I mean, we rode our ass off. If you notice, when I just walked over to the bathroom, I almost fell down. My, my legs are shot from, right. from sore, yeah. Oh, he, he's he's a good riding partner. I'm, he'll be out here more. Well, You've known him for a while? No, I met him yesterday for the first time. God, just the people you just run into. I mean, it's a really bizarre. Man, you just got to keep your eyes open. <laughs> you just got to look around and breathe. <laughs> That's, yeah, I look around and breathe in Benbrook and Tyler. He didn't live there. And, <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Everybody he, in the chat like, room wants to know why you're not on the mic, but they can hear you. Oh, because I, I changed seats in the studio. I've never sat over here. I want to look at JD from a different Aww. angle. He's so pretty. You want, you want to be closer to Gigi on the TV too. Well, she, there's a TV right there. Uh, she's on both sides. Gigi, do you See? like being in the studio with us more, or do you like? I love mic? it. Uh, no, I mean, like last week, last week when you were in the KLOS studio, you were. Oh my in. gosh, I had such a good time. She called me immediately after the show. That was so much fun. I can't believe it. I've never had yeah, so much fun in my whole life. Oh, we do that again. I'm like, what are you on, Crystal? Chick? Jesus. What's your new be? nickname? Crystal. Crystal. <laughs> it was fun. Crystal. It was fun. Crystal Blue. Crystal Blue. My name is John Clay Wolf. Oh. This is the John Clay Wolf Show. The podcast goes up this afternoon at jcwshow.com. There will be another hour starting in just a minute after the song on the West Coast. It is brought to you by Give Me the Vin.com. Give me the Vin. Give me the Vin. Give me the Vin.com. America's best car buyers, Wranglers, diesel trucks, Corvettes, Porsches, Rolls Royces, Lamborghinis, Kia Rios, Junkers, Hunkers, In Betweeners, Uppers, Downers, all of it. We buy it at Give Me the Vin.com. Put in your license plate number there. You'll get an automated bid. Buyer will contact you and get you paid. Jack.
is the easiest way to sell a car. At GiveMeTheVin.com, it's all digital. We have a 45-second offer online. It's fast, it's easy, and we have the best online reviews on the planet. Sell me your car. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you 